That is probably my highest. Hey, everybody. I'm Yvonne Williams, and that's my good friend, Randy Kennedy. And we're with Back to Earth Creations, and in today's live stream, we're crafting. And he's answering, he's going to be reading me y'all's questions, and I'm going to be answering them while crafting. Hopefully. I'm be answering them while ah! crafting. Some serious lag going there. Yeah, it's about normal. You think so? Mm -hmm. Pretty standard lag. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, wasted lady. And today, I'm working on dragon scales doing a custom work hey joanna hey jennifer <laughs> hey bernie hey ashley it's so good to see y'all in here today hey cupcakes hey margaret <laughs> hey natasha and juliet and mix and dragon it's gosh <laughs> okay yep it's my helen <laughs> says hi how are the two of you doing we're doing pretty good how are you doing honey i'm salty he's salty <laughs> Why are you salty? Because that 17 second video is my highest speed video ever. Ever? Really? Ever. More than the whistle one? Mm hmm Wow. Okay. <laughs> hey, Wolf God. <laughs> Doesn't it? Okay, so before I get to crafting, I need to show you guys the new craft room. The new craft room. The new craft room. This is it. it? Hmm? Not doing a video about it? Nah, I'll just show them in the live stream. Good Lord, but there's a lot going on there, right? This is it. Um, Cynthia asks, what are your dogs' names? They are Sam and Z. Hey, Sam and Z. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Get over here. You want to come meet the internet? <laughs> this is Z dog. And then, hey, Sam. Come here. And this is Sam dog. Come and see. Come and they can't see you. <laughs> it looks bigger. Yeah, it's Z, like the letter Z, short for zombie. Hello, Randy and Bug, Z Dog and Sam. Hey, Sparkies. <laughs> wow, it looks so organized. Well done. Thank you, Rick. It's a lie. <laughs> Why am I the first like cool spot to jump in? Right on. How long does it take you to complete a project? Oof, that's a good question. The question is, how long does it take for you to complete a project? Um, years. <laughs> Randy goes, years. That depends a lot on the project. Um, not gonna lie. Um, I don't know. For this one here, Randy goes through and sets up, um, like he opens all of the rings for me first in a bowl. Um, <laughs> Sparky, my cat's name is Ember, the second one, like the embers of a fire. And then I go through and weave it, and I can probably get one woven in like maybe two hours, um, since Randy does all the prep work for me. How long will the prep room stay like this? Uh, <laughs> like ten more minutes. Um, the question is how long will the craft room stay like this? Um, there's no telling. Sometimes it might be organized like this. Other times it might be horrible. Hey, Derpy. I'm doing pretty good today. I was going to try to be pretty and wear my hair down, but I turned the air conditioner off so that it's not just yelling at us in the background. Um, <laughs> uh, should we run a sweepstakes? Right on. Hey, Julie. It's good to see you in one of our live streams. Somebody so asked, where are you located? Um, the question is, where are we located? Uh, we currently live near Joplin, Missouri. Hey, Christina. I know, right? I'm so excited about it. And then, like, okay, so... I'm in the opposite corner of the room from where I usually hang out. No, that's where your desk used to be. Well, this is where my leather table used to be. That big table. Um, so they kind of, like, swap spots. Hey, Sam, honey. Congratulations, Julie, for making a live stream. <laughs> hey, Christina. Yeah, thanks. Christina says it's looking great. Aw, oh, Joanne, you're nice. <laughs> Did Patreon send out yet? Just want to be able to keep on the mailbox. Tanya will be mailing everything out on the 8th. Everything's going according to schedule, so, um, and you should be, uh, getting, like, 
possibly an email from stamps.com telling you that, hey, your package is shipped. So, <laughs> wow, Randy has plenty of room for breakdancing now, says Rick. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it gave us the option to be able to set up a six foot table or two for cutting leather and fabric and stuff on. Um, so, Sparky says, I wanted to say thank you for lighting a fire under me. Yesterday I was outside taking photos of some of the necklaces and bracelets I've made. Right on. Hey, I'm sorry. Sam, you're not going to wear the tripod, honey. Okay. Do you mind if I come sit next to you? That's fine. Can we plug this in next to you? Seriously? Yeah, I just want to be next to you, like over there. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to move everything. It's not like... <laughs> I just unplugged it from over here. Oh no. Organized chaos. No, it's just still just chaos. Yeah, it's still just chaos. Come on, unplug already. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to show you guys. So real quick. Yeah. Excuse you, Sam Dog. Sorry, he's got tangled up in the tripod. I think you missed some. You okay. On everything. So that's the perspective from what could be con considered the southeast corner of the room. So this is my, hmm? I guess no, southwest. southwest. Sorry, sun rises on the other end. Of the, I don't know where I am. Um, <laughs> no, well, I'm going to move over to Randy because while I craft, he's going to be the one reading the, the, y'all's questions to me. Um, but so that's my new wire wrapping polymer clay area. He still has butter in his fur. I know, doesn't he? <laughs> but yeah, we dropped some butter on Sam's head like three days ago and it's still stuck in his fur because he won't let anybody get it out. Because he's like, no, that's mine. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's my corner. I still have quite a bit of stuff to put in real quick, um, like probably in the next three years. And then this is from the other corner. You can see all that crap still set up in the living room. Um, that's my Randy. <laughs> And then we're going to be hanging another rack across this wall as well. And then, but I'm super pleased, you guys, with the very jumbled mess. Yeah, it looked organized from the other perspective. But no, it's just a bunch of stuff that's going to be going on the other shelf. Hey, Mikio, how's it going? Um, but so much more organization than what we did have, even though it's completely covered in stuff. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that these cool little Lazy Susans from, like, Walmart um, will hold up to 35 pounds. So my entire uh, nail polish collection is now on a fully functioning, rotating Lazy Susan. Though we, I'm also trying to invent a procrastinating Patty. She's not lazy. She just waits till the last minute. Um, and so I'm really pleased with the wall rack and all the drawers and everything. <laughs> We've got a little skull collection going on. I never thought I'd be the type to decorate my home in skulls. Excuse you, Sam. But um, they're really great for like resin casting and stuff. Okay, there's that. Made your star, pen, star bead pendant and bought my first bit of polymer clay. Ooh. Love your sun catchers. Oh, thank you, guys. Nope, that's too tall. Will not reach. Are you able to... Can I grab you an extension cord? Sure. No, that's not an extension cord. That is a hot glue gun. You found it? Yeah, I found it yesterday. Oh. Or this morning. I don't remember. When I was measuring my feet to Take make off. paws for a fursuit, I uh -huh. realized that I have huge feet. <laughs> oh. How do you even... I don't know, honey. What have you handed me? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this for Europe? <laughs> Just do it on this side. A European plug? No. Are you sure? I have no idea. There's All right, if coffee. we burn the house down, it's your fault. Okay. Uh, my home is decorated in hunter-gatherer rock skulls. Scooch over, bats. cutie pie. I'm coming uh, in. You're such an inspiration. <laughs> I didn't think for the first time I had my local pine. I wanted to say thanks. Greater than three. Don't say greater than three. It's, it's greater than heart. three. You need more light over here. I like my dark corner. <laughs> 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 no leave. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> Michelle says, cleavage. Y'all know my boobs have to supervise everything oh, yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah, put your boobs away, Randy. Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> That's for me. Okay. The place is so spacious and clean ish. Ah, that's nice. Clean ish. <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah, it's well, I we did we finally have enough floor space that it's actually easy to mop now. Manly breasts. So manly breasts. Oh, he's got the nicest. Put your breasts away, one. <laughs> you put your breasts. I did. I pulled it up no, a little bit. No, your manly breasts are hanging out. Oh, again. my man breasts. <laughs> Good afternoon stream. It's one thirty here. It's right on. Three thirty-five here. Oh goodness, gotta get to work. All you need now is a long table in the middle. Well, we have the long table, one. like a nine foot table pressed up against the wall. And we like the option of being able to set up a long table in the center. But I'm really bad about surfaces. Like if it's just a big open surface, I'm going to cover it in like a ton of stuff. Yeah. So need a mobile kitchen island thing. I don't know, if I weren't such a swamp troll, then I would agree with that, but I just know myself and I know that it would be mountained up with just all sorts of rubbish. Mm -hmm. Like, that's true story. 435 in Pittsburgh. Right on. Pittsburgh, Kansas? Yeah. There's yeah, a place. It's 2235 in Holland. They're just making up numbers now. <laughs> yeah, so Melissa says good for cutting leather, but true. So that's, we'll set it up, cut the stuff, and then try true, our... True, you are such a swamp troll. Yeah, I am a swamp troll. And then tear it down just as quick as we can before I can make messes on it. <laughs> you need one of your show tables so you can put it up and take it down. That's exactly what we do, Sparky, with a collapsible yeah. six-foot table. There's two in there and one in the kitchen stove. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see... Oh, that mess in the living room but we have two six foot tables and like a little three foot table set up in the um uh in the living room do what fun does that leather color come from that finger rest on the top do you mean a swivel knife mm -hmm. i've been watching you guys on youtube on my phone and there's a two second delay between my phone and the computer <laughs> Right on. It's the future. Watching Halloween DIYs when I saw you guys were going live. Right on. You can speak up, you know. You're on the live stream, too. <laughs> the one you used you in the binder video. Today? Yeah, that's a swivel knife. Hmm? The, uh... I don't watch your videos. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's a swivel knife. Okay. I don't know what she's asking about Hello it, from Alaska. <laughs> Nice to know I'm not alone, wasted. What's going on? What, is it lagging or something? Or mm. Hey Trisha, I am I'm feeling a lot more rested today. Hey Nina! Hollering hi <laughs> I was actually thinking about you the other day. It'd been a while since I'd seen you. Hey Pamela in Florida. You mean tables that fold up against the wall. They're called Murphy tables. I think you're making that up, because they had Murphy beds. <laughs> No, there's no such thing as Murphy tables, really? but the reality that I live in, it would never get folded up against the wall Yeah. That's because true. there would be stuff on it. So I really like the way I have the nine foot table set up where it's table space, but then it has all the spots for stuff to go there on the back side of it. So how is the harvest this year from your garden? Ugh. Well, the question is, how's the harvest going from my garden? Y'all can hear Randy now, so I don't have to do that. How did a mosquito get in here? I, oh, I didn't mean to bop you in the face, Sam. <laughs> Did I get it? Mm -hmm. No. <sighs> um, the harvest has been going okay. Uh, my chickens started laying eggs again, but it's just uh, between harlequin, harlequin bugs and just not being home to harvest. Um, we're going to have a heck of a sweet potato harvest, though, I do think. Says, I know, been super busy, got an order for 34 mini fairy houses. Holy crap, that's a lot of fairy houses. How's the room coming along? The room is basically not done yet. Um, almost done though. Like, I don't know if y'all can see. Yes, I love sweet potatoes. But it's... Mm. Sorry, Sam. Why do you keep getting tangled up in the tripod, honey? <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's the craft room. I'm really pleased with 
this area here. Super, super pleased about it. But we had to stop um, cleaning and organizing for a minute to get done with custom work because that's that's actually what I'm working on right now. Um, I wish I, I, I envy Lauren's setup that she has like where she can look at you this way but then she also has the camera looking down. Mm. But until we get better internet, that's just it's not just even not, an option. Yeah. But I'd love to show you guys what I'm working on, but I gotta work on it. Keep reading me everybody's comments. Well, you keep talking and Sorry. I don't get an opportunity no. to speak. Talk over me. <laughs> Okay, I know you probably prefer Parawire uh, for needs. Do you prefer the brand of chains, lobster claws, rings? Hmm. Um, Trisha, I don't have a preferred brand for lobster claws and chains. Like, honest to goodness, more often than not, I'll go to Michael's whenever they're having a 50% off sale and just buy it there because... What's your face? Like, Sam like, thinks you have a bowl of food. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a bowl of rings. <laughs> It's better internet than at the convention. That's for sure, Jean. Hey, Kason. I think Bernie is the only person who's never tried a sweet potato. Oh, really? And are white sweet potatoes just regular potatoes? No. White sweet potatoes are not just regular sweet potatoes. It's, they're still, they're not the same family of plant. Like, uh, potatoes are actually in the Solense family. And sweet potatoes, I don't even know what they are. Will you do a live stream of you finishing the room? Just set up a tripod in one corner of the room and you can do a time lapse. So it wouldn't be a live stream, it'd be a video. Yeah, it's I could do a video and time lapse it, or I could do a live stream and have Randy holler questions at me. But I'm not very productive whenever we do live streams. <laughs> Like, someone actually commented on one of my videos. They were like, geez, it took you three hours to do that? Like, I could have had my whole house clean in that time. And I'm like, I never said I was good at this. <laughs> have you ever done one in scale tails? One of the scale tails? Tara, I haven't. Um, I've wanted to, but I wouldn't want to just use butted aluminum for it. I would want to actually do it out of split rings. Because since there's so much weight in it... Um, I wouldn't want it to like the rings would start to pull apart especially since it has like typically the tails have such nice movement um so i haven't yet but have you got enough storage drawers for your stuff yet <sighs> no <laughs> but i ran out of spaces to put storage drawers so i guess yes um <laughs> is that pretty accurate i mean i guess i i doubt you're done buying them I know. I just don't know where else I can put them. Once we get that rack organized, that's my big problem spot right now. This big metal rack there. Oh, yeah. And the rest of the house. But. <laughs> when will you be comfortable taking on more custom work? I have two stones, so two necklaces, or necklace art pieces that need your magic. Marcia, um. Soon. I'm thinking the end of November. Yeah. After Thanksgiving. I'll actually be able to start taking on custom pieces again. It's just we have all the custom work that we're so close to finishing up on now. Um, and then we have two conventions back to back in November. We have Kansas City Comic Con and then the weekend directly after we have Memphis Comic and Fantasy Con. And so after those two, our show schedule will have slowed down and I can start taking commissions again. So that answered the next question of when do you have more conventions? Oh, soon. <laughs> Pretty productive a day. I made some sparkly ornaments for my craft fair coming up. Ooh. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm doing pretty good today, I think. Kind of lightheaded from the chemicals from whenever I mopped the floor, and I think I burnt my finger. On what? On the chemicals. Because it got stuck mm. underneath my fingernail, and it on the bottle I read it, it said, Skin and eye errant and stop drinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly love them. Okay. I'm so stupid. I tried to put the headphone wire in my clock. With the radio on instead of my tablet. How do I live? Oh, poor Derby Pigeon. Sparky says, I just noticed that big metal rack, the one you were just talking about. LOL. I know where you got those because I have one on either side of me. I love them. I seriously love them. Like, we actually bought that rack from a friend when we were helping him move because I was like, I need that. I need that rack in my life. Um... <laughs> I love you so much. Aww. When will you do more Dragon Eyes? Um, soon. 
Elizabeth, sorry Nightbot timed you out. I think we need to just take Nightbot off. Like or get it working right. One yeah, of the two. <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't know what I, I really, really like bought. that you take the time doing projects because I have almost no experience with jewelry and like your instructions because I'm not rushed. Right on. Well, it's this stuff takes time and I really feel like trying to cram a 12 hour project into a cute little five minute craft video is not, is not like, that's not how this works. Like, so you kind of have to, um, I don't know. I try to present. It, it's like you get what you put into it. If you spend 30 minutes on a project, you're going to get 30 minutes into your project. If you spend 12 hours on it, you're going to get 12 hours work. Um, but... Hey, Vaughn, do you prefer water-based leather dyes or alcohol? Hmm. Are there specific pros or cons to either one? I use both. Um, a lot of the water-based dyes, like especially the EcoFlow Professional Water Stain, is very waxy. So sometimes I'll use that and then go over it with an alcohol-based dye, which is very, like, thin and penetrates quickly and evenly. Um, like, whenever I want a nice, flat, even black, I go with an alcohol stain. Whenever I want, like, that purple binder that I did in yesterday's video, um, it... It like um Oh that's the thing on the shelf behind me. I was like, my no, you hair got is some like hair really sticking out there. right there too. Just that one spot. No, oh what was I saying? Um whereas if I want like a bunch of different modeling and color variations, I'll go with one of the waxier water based ones. Um also I find that since the the alcohol dye kind of dries the leather out a little bit, so it, I have to use a whole lot more Aussie wax or you know beeswax or neem's, neem's foot oil to like shine it up again and get it to not look dull. Okay. Are you doing chain mail? I'm actually doing scale mail. <laughs> hey Irene, yeah I'm doing crafting in the feed. I just didn't really know how to do the camera. Like I didn't know if you guys would rather look at us or rather look at the scale mail. So it's up entirely up to you guys. <laughs> Do you ever accidentally slowly slip into the splits when you have socks on because they just happen to me and thank goodness I'm flexible? Oh goodness. No, um, that doesn't typically happen because our floor is old and needs refinished. And so if I, I can't slip into anything because I get splinters all up in my feetsies. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Are you going to do any crafts in this feed? Yeah, I'm doing crafts in this feed. You're doing crafts in this feed. Wow. What are you making today? Love the leather book cover. Yesterday was gorgeous. Ah, uh, thank you. Today I am making um, a scale top. A lady at our last convention custom ordered a warrior, like, barbarian outfit, but she needs it by October 21st. So, like, stats. So I have to, like, we got the belt finished, so now I'm busting on the top. And then I have to make the bracers and the headdress. My wife is still wearing all the rings I got from you at Dragon Con. Yay! I'm so glad, Michael. <laughs> uh, have you ever done scale shoulders before? I tried to do them on my armor, but it made my armor uncomfortable and put all the weight on my shoulders. Right on. Alexis, I have done scale shoulders before, and I'll show you. Let me... Okay. I'm going to use Randy as a demonstration. What I usually do is I'll do a leather base... That way it bears the brunt, and then I'll come through and attach the scales to that. Like, um, not necessarily in a diamond shape, like I would do it just like straight across, but um, see how it has that straight edge? So you could do like a seam, and it would come down, and it makes like a cap for the shoulder, um, and that completely, like... It takes the weight of the armor off of the shoulders, but then also still gives you that nice scale mail effect. So, also, sometimes, for the ladies especially, I'll do diamonds. Did you get the troll? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, honey. Um, to where you can see it has a diamond point up here, and then it would come to a, a little point over my shoulder. Um, and then I have it come across with some chains across the front and the back, and then another chain underneath the arm to keep it stabilized. Um, but again, I really prefer attaching it to leather. Okay, one more thing. 
How do you prevent scratching from pliers on colored chains? Um, that's a really good question. You can dip your tools in a product called um, Magic Dip, Tool, ma tool Magic, um, and then getting a, just being careful. The more you do it, the more you'll be able to gauge how much pressure to use with your pliers. Also, be sure to use pliers that don't have teeth in them because that's going to be a big step. Another thing you can do is go through the metal file and kind of round down those very uh, sharp, you know, flat edges because you don't need them, you know, as perfectly angular. I'm using, uh, the question is what rings are you using and what size are the scales? I'm using the rings that I coil and cut. They're uh, 16 gauge 5 16 and I am using large scales in brushed gold from the ringlord.com. And then the question is, do you charge more for rush jobs? Nah, not typically. I usually just let you know that I might not be able to get it made in time. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, question is, so I think I want to try to be Blue Pearl or Sapphire from Steven Universe for a cosplay. So do you know what material I could make the gem out of? Um, I'd probably recommend casting resin gems. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. What's the dip called again for tools? Um, the dip for the tools is Tool Magic. Um, you could also do multiple layers of like Mod Podge is something. Um, just anything to give you a little bit of a rubbery buffer between the metal of the pliers and the metal of the rings. Ah, uh, thanks Renee. Renee says, I just wanted to thank you for being so inspirational. That's very kind. Thank you. And someone asked earlier if I was going to be doing more videos, because I haven't in a while. Uh, I have plans on it, yeah. I just haven't had time yet with the craft room being disassembled and shuffled into three other rooms. It's... <laughs> this has been very stressful for Randy. He has handled it so well. Um... But yeah, I, I do plan on uh, getting back to that. I need to do another Patreon video. I need to say who the winner was for last month. I'm just falling behind because two shows back to back. And then as soon as we got home, it's let's rearrange the craft room. So. You're not stressed out at No, all. not at all. So yeah, I will. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> I do have some videos shot already and it's like, do I put them out without putting out the Patreon for this month. I don't know. So, you got this. so that answers mine. Um, mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. Okay. Time to work You've on changed wedding your room. We have changed the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this last one keeps me going, Vaughn, and her sideburns. Yeah. <laughs> Your video. actually my most viewed video now. All 17 seconds of it. <laughs> It'll up your view count so you can monetize your That's videos true. again. Uh-oh. There it is. Uh, la, we're waiting to la, see la, your la. collaboration. Do, 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 do. Well, it'd be a good website to find craft events and places good, good. to sell my homemade jewelry here in Tennessee. Mm. And thank you for teaching us the cool stuff you make. Hey, David. Um... For, I don't know, like the bell buckle, it, it's been years since we lived in Tennessee, but I know that the bell buckle craft show was one that people would swear by. Um, there's a couple of really good ones near Memphis. Uh, basically anything in Nashville. Like, I don't know if there's one overall um, website for it, but just uh, get get to be good friends with Google, um, you know, and just be like a craft shows in Nashville or, you know, whatever town you like it determine, do you want to drive no more than two hours? Do you want to drive no more than four hours? You know? And so it's like, um, set a radius yeah. of how far you want to drive and then like find the big cities in those areas. Um, and then Google, uh, you know, uh, craft shows in Cookville, Tennessee. Um, I know that the Smithville Fiddler's Jamboree was a pretty good one, but it was hit or miss. I don't know. Craft shows were so hit and miss for me. They really were. Um, okay, so I've been checking several location, local places to take 
jewelry classes and you've already done more tutorials than all the local classes. <laughs> That That's fair. That, that can definitely be a thing that happens. Well, and something that whenever I taught, I used to teach for like one season, I taught wire wrapping classes at a Michaels in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, and uh, what was really nice about that is the tool, you take the class and the tools and materials are provided. So it's like um, there is some benefit to doing that. So... Hey, Annette, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Where do you see selling at shows that is made of wood? What do you see selling at shows that is made of wood? Um, Emma, that's really difficult to gauge um, because we do a lot of shows that cater to a younger crowd, um, like the anime conventions and stuff. Most of our clientele are not homeowners. Um, whereas we do some different sci-fi conventions where the crowd is older and those are the ones where I see like very nice, um, keepsake boxes, jewelry boxes, like, um, you know, uh, little like trays and stuff for the gentlemen to un unload their pockets into whenever they get home from work and kind of stuff like those kinds of things, um, at the sci-fi conventions, but we see wands sell pretty frequently um but again these are kind of convention specific i think i know that if we went around to craft shows selling wands we'd probably get rocks thrown at us yeah um so okay okay making a nightmare moon equestria girl style tips on body paint and possible way for hooves i have no idea um, what it is for the body paint i would recommend going to graftobian.com G R A F T I O B I A Graft O B N. I don't know how to spell it. Um, and so, um, and they have really good body paints. But then for hooves, um, I don't know. Are you able to walk in high heels? Because I am unable to walk in high heels. So I always do toe extensions. Whereas my friend Lauren does, where she'll build uh, build a high heel shoe into a hoof. Um, and then, like, cut the heel off of it and kind of walk around like that. Yeah, Graftobian. Horror Beauty's got it. What's up? I'm trying what to figure out what that is behind me. I don't know. That thing? Yeah, that thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's my quartz crystal. Is it? No, I don't think it's that. I don't oh, I don't know. Um, um, we're both just looking at the screen. <laughs> all right. Hey, Vaughn, I tried to post a picture to your Facebook or a picture of a peacock to your Facebook. It seems as though my uh, comment appeared. But possibly not the photo. Did Was it that the peacocks are rave turkeys? Because that one appeared on my feed. <laughs> and I agree entirely. Uh, with Christmas, make ornaments. I would actually disagree wholeheartedly. I don't know. We never had any success with selling ornaments. Now, again, that's In just what worked for us. Trying, but we never sold a and single ornament. And I think it's because everybody's selling ornaments. Um, but also, we could have had ours priced too high. Ours could have been a little too generic, maybe. Like, I have no idea. So, um, it's definitely an idea. Because wooden ornaments, if it's something that you have, like, a laser engraver, you're not having to put a whole bunch of time into, it might be a good option. My sister sells a health product for painful bladder syndrome. Do you guys recommend shows for her supplements, or do those work? Um, I have no idea. I don't know. We've seen Tupperware ladies at conventions before, so, I mean, I guess anybody could sell anything at a convention, but um, a lot of it runs into, um, I know a lot of that stuff isn't necessarily FDA approved, and it can get really, like, we've had, we've seen, we've been next to contact vendors that have been kicked out because they're selling contacts that aren't FDA approved. So I don't know how that would go over with the organizers, but kind of play it by ear and go, you know, show by show. <laughs> um, Ooh, Sinister yeah. says, I make crystal beaded beads and I make them into ornaments. People seem to love them. Right on. Cool. Oh my god, deadly sneaky dog farts here, so I have to go for a dog walk now. <laughs> Bye, mine. Nina. Have fun. <laughs> have you tried making Christmas bubbles? I.e. a scale bubble. Hmm, no, I haven't. That sounds cool, though. I'm not sure. La, 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 la. 
da, 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 I think that's da, da. all the questions so far. Oh, uh, do you guys think you'll take a trip to Australia? You have quite the fan base here. <laughs> I'd love to. I just don't know when it will be happening. Um, my goal for the coming year is to actually stay on top of things, and I don't think traveling out of the country um, is going to be happening in 2018. Um, because just between custom orders and the yard and the house and just everything, it's I have no idea how we'll fit it in. I ordered a bunch of contacts from Wish and can only sell to friends because of FDA. Right on. I mean, jewelry and dream catchers and gemstone trees and things like that. Right on. Hey, Holly. Mr. Daniel, I think it's Vaughn, how do comments. you find the shows? Um, well, for conventions in particular, whenever you go to, like, um... When our, our very first convention that we went to was Chattacon in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And there was a table there that had a bunch of flyers promoting other conventions. And so I went through and I picked up every single flyer. And I went through and I checked all of their websites. Um, and, you know, some of them had, uh, you know, um, there were at some of the conventions. There's tables of other conventions promoting their convention. Um, and stuff so a lot of it was by word of mouth but that was also like 10 years ago whereas now it's you can kind of just google um, conventions in my area and then kind of go go from there I hope that answered the question uh, why don't you sell on eBay or Etsy um well eBay charges inordinate fees um and I'm just not very familiar with the store structure, but we do have an eBay store. I just don't have anything posted on there. And then I do sell on Etsy, and I, I actually really highly recommend Etsy. Their fees are very reasonable. Their website is very easy to navigate and well put together um, and can be ran, run from like a mobile app as well. Um, like Etsy's fantastic, but then I also have my own domain and I actually just today set up an Amazon store, but it's not entirely put together yet. So never mind. That's a motorcycle. Yeah. I was like, is it thunder? <laughs> Maybe I missed it, but how's the craft room revamp going? Um, it's going pretty good. The living room's still a mess. A scale pine cone would look pretty cool. But yeah, this is the craft room so far. <laughs> it makes me feel really good to have that big empty space for the dog skin rugs to lay in. <laughs> yeah. Let's know when you're in the Knoxville, Tennessee area. Would love to meet you guys. I have, I can make some really nice dragon eyes now. Thank you. Right on. Well, I'm really glad to help you with your dragon eyes. How's Randy adjusting to the craft room rearrangement? He hasn't, he stopped crying. I did. I so did that's really crying. good. He stopped crying. Like, I'd just look over and he'd just be weeping. Just in my sleep. Just like, like, like the Virgin Mary. Just, just, <laughs> just crying just quietly. <laughs> Not I really. I used your he... link for my Amazon purchase yesterday if you keep reminding people. I'm sure Ooh. others will do so Well, too. thank you. I really hope you enjoy what you get on Amazon. I yeah. love shopping on Amazon. Poor Lauren. Uh, she tried, and they yeah. were like, yeah, no, you're not big enough yet. Well, and I was like, what? So that's a thing. I didn't know. Yeah. Um, You've got glitter all over your face. It's like above your eyebrow. Why do I have glitter? I don't know, because you touched that bottle. What bottle? The bottle of glitter. Oh, uh, did you line it with glitter? No. <laughs> it's, just, you, yeah. it's glitter, you know, it's going to seep out mm -hmm. somehow. <laughs> Don't push Randy out of the room. Can you hand me those scales? Oh man, I tried you to do a so dragon nice. eye after your tutorial. Oh well, I suck. Oh no! You guys are awesome. Keep, Keep with it, Celeste. Covers. You'll get the hang of it. Take care and blessings to both of you. Ah, uh, well thank you, Jack. Have an awesome day. Glitter is herpes of the craft slash maker. Glitter is herpes. Can you say who says it? Why? No. Because it makes me happy. Too bad. Meh. Uh, take care Let of me micromanage you. Come on, I love your videos, but how do you, or bleh, but have been wondering what happened. How you I get go. started doing what you do, and do you do this full time? Absolutely. Um, Kimberly, we have been doing this full time since 2008. 
Um, we got started doing it by, we did a craft show and it went really well. Like, and to put it in perspective, like, and I'm not, y'all know me, I'm not the type to be like, oh, what well, I made so much money, but it's like, we made like $500 in a three day weekend. And that was life changing because that was more than a two week paycheck oh, of working God. 40 hours a week. Like it was amazing. Um, and so we were like, well, clearly we need to do more of this. So then we went and we went um, to, what, Christmas in Lynchburg? Like a little one-day craft oh, show yeah. and made like $200. We were like... two-day? We was set up in the day? morning and then tore down that evening. Oh. Because it was in the basement of that book place. Yeah, and you had me put all the earrings yeah. on. Oh, yeah. Never <laughs> And so it was just, I don't know. We And then we kept finding out about more shows. And then we found out about conventions. And it's just been one thing after another. And every time something stops working or needs to change, we try our best to find something else to replace it with. Um, <laughs> Sparky says, do you remember what you were selling at your first craft fair? Um, we actually have a picture on Facebook of our booth set up at our very first craft show. It was a lot of cabochons that I had purchased and then glued into pre-made bezels because I love the way those look. I still do. I'm a sucker for just a nice gemstone cabochon. Um, and then some wire wrapped pieces, some seed bead jewelry, some chain mail, um, some macrame with lamp work glass. Some crocheted purses, some wood burnt stuff. At the beginning? Mm hmm. No. We, we had like three or four wood burnt boxes. No, we didn't have wood burning until the second year because Amy we had, got you the wood burning kit for Christmas that year. You got me a new wood burning kit. Amy got you the wood burning kit. Because I had done wood burning when we lived out in Laura. Mm hmm. And that the was, second time. Because I was still in high school. Because Jesse came over. I was sitting on the floor yeah, by the front door okay, burning. Right. Yeah, the bookcase. Mm -hmm. That bookcase. That smelled like burning plastic. Because yeah. it's not wood, it's plastic. Um, <laughs> sorry, we went down memory lane for a minute. Um, okay. What, uh, what's upcoming crafts do you have planned and how's your cosplay costume coming? I don't, I have not started on any of my new cosplay costumes. Um, I've been so desperately trying to catch up with, um, custom work and for crafts I'm gonna have tomorrow I'm doing like a wire wrapped sun catcher video um and then I'm gonna be doing a lot more wire wrapping like pendants and stuff uh, they're gonna be like um, a lot of techniques that we've already done before but maybe merged together in slightly different ways what other eShop sites would you recommend? Um, I've seen a lot of people have success on Artfire. Um, I have my website set up through Weebly, um, but also Squarespace has, like Square, like the swipers, has a really good um, kind of free, you know, easy to use. Is everything okay? Yeah. You weren't nudging me? No, I was just okay. shaking my leg. I shake if you don't want to be shaking. Are you all like twitchy and weird? Like, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you going to snap? I might. Uh. <laughs> I can't run away anywhere. Everything's blocked up. <laughs> oh, thanks, Patricia. Okay. I broke my leg in three places and had screws and plate and watching you guys cheers me up. Right on. Oh, I'm glad we can be helpful to you. That sounds horrible. Um, macrame is like, you usually see it done with like hemp or um, some other like textile cord um and it's like a bunch of knots <laughs> oh i need to keep working on this apparently glitter is breadcrumbs for crafters it's yeah, also to tell... satan's way of making the world sparkle yeah yeah satan sparkles <laughs> wire wrapping sun catcher mm -hmm. it is a star wrap star wire wrap. Mm -hmm. What do you think of tassels and fringe? Um, Pat says, what do you think of tassels and fringe? Um, it's not my personal style, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> oh, I think
think that was horror. Who said uh, Satan sparkles? Oh yeah. Yeah. You getting credit for it? <laughs> I just cracked my back and it sounded like biting in a carrot. That's a bad thing, right? Uh, that is a bad. Thing. Uh, bye, Annette. Thanks for stopping in. Since my husband started trying to wire wrap. I made him start watching your videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we've been helpful to him. Wire wrapping can be kind of hard to start. Oh, Cassandra's gone too. Bye. Oh no, bye Cassandra. Do y'all LARP? Um, we don't, but we hang out with a lot of LARPers. It's a lot of fun. It's just, I can't risk doing anything that's going to hurt my hands. Um, so no combat, not even for playsies. Not even for playsies. Not even for playsies. All right, let's see. What are you guys doing right now? I'm um, reading the chat. Randy's reading the chat to me, and I am working on... I'm almost done with it. Oh, well, you're almost done with one of them. Done with one of them, yeah. Could you turn the air conditioner back on? Sure. Is it on off? Yeah. Where do you recommend buying crystals for a good price? Um, gem and mineral shows. Honestly, for the most part, I typically pay about $5 per crystal. Um, sometimes I like to get it for less, but that's the price that I've found that it's going to be a really good crystal. Ah, well, congratulations, Jean. She says, I'm a great grandmother to a baby girl. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, God, it was all over you. Yep. I'm so sorry. Now you're just rubbing it in. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> it was a. Uh, Vaughn, where do you get the scales? Or you could read the backlog questions. Sorry. Um. I get my scales from theringlord.com. Um. <laughs> What is LARP? LARP is live action role play and it's it's where people bop each other with finoodles and then like yell lightning bolt when they throw balls at each other. It depends, um, on, the it depends on the LARP. Some of them are more fantasy based, some of them are more um, soft core historical reenactment. Like they, they might be using a claymore sized weapon but it's not like out of metal. Um, The difference between LARP and cosplay is, um, I couldn't tell you. I guess it depends entirely. One fighting, one doesn't? Yeah, well, cosplayers don't always bop each other with finoodles, but you can be LARPing in a cosplay. So, but you don't have to be cosplaying to be in a LARP. Like, if that makes sense. <laughs> have you used the Ring Lord patterns for chainmail? Um... I haven't, I get all of my patterns and stuff from maleartisans.org, um, and that's rather, I learned all of my weaves from there, and then just kind of go, go from there. Um, I've been watching your wire up videos, and so I desperately want to learn it, but it's very slow going. Is that typical? Yeah, it's, honest to goodness, it took me every minute of 10 years of wire wrapping to get to where I am now, so the progress that I've seen a lot of folks make you know um very quickly is astounding to me so it's but don't don't be hard on yourself if you feel like you're not progressing as quickly as you would like to just constructively criticize your own work and work on what you feel like you need to improve on the best way to get better at weaving is to weave <laughs> so that's true i already answered where I get the scales any plans for halloween i don't think you did answer where you get scales uh, from the ring ward i said that mm -hmm. <laughs> um <laughs> Lisa says, I'm enjoying wire wrapping, but I figure it will take me a year to be bad at it. Well, it's, Randy's always reminding me, you have to be crappy before you can be good. <laughs> like, you've got to, you're just, sometimes you've got to be bad at it first before you can get better. So, he's never once told me that I was crappy, but. So, any plans for Halloween? I don't Pick know. Stuff Are they sticking out again? Ugh, why is this happening? That's, you know what? This is life now. This is life. This is life. I don't know why it does this. I try to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you already love sun me. Class. Sun catchers this summer. Can you tell us tomorrow's sun catcher theme? Um, tomorrow's sun catcher theme is it's actually just a crystal that Jim sent me, like a glass crystal that sends rainbows. 
um, set in chainmail with a fractal wrap. They're techniques that we've done before separately, but I wanted to do something large that clearly demonstrates how to do the fractal wrap on chainmail. Pomade or hair wax <laughs> might help. Maybe. Except I don't like using products in my hair because then I smell and feel weird. You're a Dapper Dan so man. So I'm a Dapper Dan man. <laughs> hey, guess what? Sons. So I just need anime hair. Con, New York City, and just sent me pictures of him with Kevin Smith. Ah! That's, that's really so cool. cool. What advice can you give for plants in the home that promote health, etc.? I'm always trying to spot your plants. Your house looks so organic and natural. I love it. We're so organic and natural that we had to pull a vine up that was growing through the air vent from the outside. This is like Poison Ivy's lab in here. It's horrible. <laughs> well, I like it, but Randy's like, you gotta stop letting stray plants in. I grow a lot of aloe vera because it does really well even whenever I repeatedly, like I've gone over a month without watering one before and they do just fine. Um, I also do a lot of pothos because I like vining plants and they, they do pretty well and they they do well both being underwatered or overwatered. So it's like, you know, and then um, anything I can keep growing, honestly. My peperomia seems to do pretty good for me. Um, but yeah, as far as the diversity of houseplants go, I, don't, I only have like four kinds and that's about it because I keep making cuttings from the same plants and just propagating them further. Um, okay. Vaughn, did you try straightening your bangs? I did, and they stayed nice for a little bit, but then I just don't even know. I'm practicing being girly. Because I put lipstick on, too. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it always makes me feel weird. Uh, pretty <laughs> Yeah, right? I love Peperomia, but how the heck do I keep a Boston fern alive? If you right. figure out how to keep a Boston fern alive, please let me know, because... I'm not having luck there at all. Hmm. Ooh. Other than fairy question. houses, do you do fairies in a jar or glass bowl? I love your Perry. You always make me feel good. Well, thanks, Glennis. We haven't, but I'd love to try that. Okay. Right on. Yeah, Diane, that's a really good point. She says, over a month not watering aloe vera. I don't think I've watered mine in about six months, and it's still going well. And that's what I mean. <laughs> So it made your hair defy the laws of gravity. I cut it. Eh. <laughs> if I was closer to you, I would teach you how to do your hair. Do what? If I was closer to you, I'd teach you how to do your hair. Ugh, right? I actually, I've always cut my own hair, like, as an adult. And I kind of want to go to, like, a stylist or somebody and have them do things to my hair to make it look nice. Well, is it unspeakable now? What? I know what you want. What do I want? You want a perm. Yeah, I want to get a perm. Like, I want to look like Merida and have giant afro hair. That'd be awesome. Mm. It would be this big. Um, <laughs> are the pliers used just from the hardware store or specifically chainmail slash jewelry? They are specifically jewelry pliers because from the hardware store, most of them have teeth. And these ones don't have teeth. They don't have teeth. I love your face. I love looking in the camera and seeing your face next to me. Okay. It's a compliment. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, put Boston ferns in the bathroom. The steam and humidity do wonders. Uh -uh. Randy yelled at me for putting ferns in the tub. I did, yes. Uh, and I'm like, just shower around it. And he's like, get the ferns out of the tub. Because there were like six ferns in the tub for like all winter. <laughs> <laughs> and they still died. And they still died. <laughs> Do you think singing and talking to plants helps them grow? Um, Sora, I do think so, if only because it makes me pay attention to my plants, so I'm more likely to notice when they need watered, when they're having nutrient deficiencies, if they're developing scale or a mildew problem. So... I, I think pl any living thing benefits from positive attention, um, but for a variety of reasons. So, like, I hope that makes sense. I had a perm and I loved it. My hair was red, too. I went from dead straight hair to really permed. I miss it. Right on. Hang them in the corners of the bathroom. That might be a better idea. Have you ever made your own stamps with rubber sheets? If so, do you have a brand you recommend? I haven't, but I would really like to. 
Um, walked up Notre Dame Tower right to the top, and the oh wow. I've not had my hair cut or used a hair dryer in 20 years. It's in really good condition. My daughter is so jealous. Although she constantly is straightening and coloring her, so no wonder it's damaged. Right on. And that's honestly, I'd rather have poofs sticking out the sides than, um, like frizzled, frazzled, sad hair. What would you rate your singing on a scale of actual angel or dying goose that's choking? I, I'm right around a swamp troll. I was thinking bleeding cheek. Bleeding sheep, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I live in France and never went to Paris. Oh, right on. You never do these things. Twas cool. Gotta run. Love to watch. Take care. Bye, Patricia. <laughs> I've made a stand before. I'm actually gonna bring the camera down, just for a change of scenery, so that you all can see. <laughs> what? Just for a change of scenery. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all can see the scale mail, jeez. Scale mail tannies. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, thank you, Bernie. Well, Randy, if you have such a problem with it, you can show them your boobs, too. How does I don't that make wanna. you feel? I don't Are you sure? a problem with it. Oh. <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious. Well, I shut your pretty mouth. For change of scenery. <laughs> <laughs> Interviews dropped by, like, 20 people. <laughs> It's not about the views. Keep the questions kind of read all the comments. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Um, beautiful interpretation, you two. <laughs> it's manic at lunchtime and it's one minute empty in the next swarming. Timing's perfect. <laughs> right on. Alright, it's cool you started on Amazon. What are the parameters you were talking about? Does Instagram following count, etc.? Melissa, I don't no. think the Instagram counts, but like Twitter does. I don't know Which why. Is weird. I uh, guess they're just not partnered with Facebook Instagram, maybe. Facebook counts, and so does YouTube. Mm -hmm. But it's called the Amazon Affiliate Program. You can just type it into Google, and that'll take you kind of where you're going. I'm thinking about making a video about it just to help out anybody who's interested. Because I feel like it's something that I, I don't. It, it, everybody should do it. Honestly, it's, you know, it's you get you get out of it what you put in. Um, will you be doing any tutorials for smaller gemstone wire wrapping, non-drilled? I was gifted a huge handful of faceted gems for about ten mm. to seventy-five carats each. Right on. Um, I have a hard time wrapping my head around carat measurements. Um. What, like, millimeter, uh, like, what's their diameter in millimeters? I'm trying to keep my hair in good shape, so if you want to curl your hair, try sock curling. Because it mm. looks exactly like heat curls. Right on. Well, it's, I found that with my hair, it just, can I see the bowl of wings, please? About one inch across. It just, oh, one inch across? Okay, I can do some like that. Um, it, my, curls and things won't stay in my hair uh, except for like maybe an hour before they fall flat if I don't use heat. And even then I have to use heat and a lot of hairspray to get the curls to hold. Because otherwise it'll just go back to how it usually likes to be, which is like halfway curly. Can you explain okay. what you're doing? Your heads are totally in the way. Oh, sure. Here, let me dun, 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 dun. move this like that and turn that like that. Okay, this might get you all a better angle. Is this for a scale bra? This is for a scale bra. And I just finished making one cup. So I'm going to lay this like that. If I'm productive, can we keep streaming? Maybe. Since it's been an hour? Maybe. Okay. You've done in what? Three rows in an hour? No, uh, <laughs> I did like five, four rows. Four rows in an hour? Wow. Okay. If I'm way more productive, can Maybe. we keep streaming? Okay. Okay. Um. Unfortunately, no, we don't have any more kind of books. <laughs> Are you dun, 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 scaling for a dun, chest dun, piece or is that for a shoulder? Hey, Rachel, this is for a chest piece. I want to start making some more shoulders and stuff, but I kind of feel like we can't really make anything for the booth until I get caught up on custom pieces. And we have the rest of this scale and fur barbarian outfit to make, and then I have a leather Wonder Woman um, bracer and greave outfit to make, um, and crown. Um, 
And then I have about four dragon eye bracelets that I need to do. And a quartz crystal necklace out of sterling silver. And then another great, uh, just, just for days, custom work for days. For days. Fine. Uh, you would paint a doll like the videos ooh. you have on YouTube? I would love to do a doll repainting, if that's what you mean. Yeah, repaint a doll. Yeah. Oh, I would love to do that. Uh, where do you get the stuff? For... Where do you get the stuff? Um, Intensive Soul, I coil and cut my own rings, and then I get the scales from theringlord.com. How long has it been that you started? I ask because you have tons of things, and your videos are amazing. Thank you for <laughs> your Marvel jobs. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Virginia. Um, how long has it been? Anyway? Well, we started crafting professionally back in 2008. Um, so we've had a lot of time to build up, like, skills and techniques and things and, like, accumulate materials and all sorts of stuff. Um, and you're, <laughs> thank you. And we started doing almost a video a day back in August of 2016. So we've really been able to beef up our tutorials and stuff that way as well. Um, have you shown the craft room already? I have. Let me get a little bit more of this scale top woven and I will show you guys. I can make a list of the supplies for the doll repainting if you want. Oh, that'd be so cool. If you could actually send that to me like in a Facebook message. Um, because I don't have access to the comments here afterwards. Are you going to do a video on the Sterling Silver piece? I'd love to watch the whole thing. I will be, because that's, I really want, now it's just silver filled wire, um, but I do want to compare and contrast, um, how the silver filled behaves compared to copper. Would you please make a video working with flat wire? Sure. I, I do intend on doing a video on working with flat wire because that stuff is so much fun. Have you not done that? I haven't. Really? Well, I did one in the herringbone weave with yeah. flat wire around a dragon eye. Yeah, it was a really cool green eye. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd really like to do more videos because there's so many more things that you can do with the flat wire. Thing is, is I don't no, use Facebook, so that's a problem. Mm. Stupid keyboard. Give me key. Mm -hmm. Hey, no, give keyboard? me, give me, I need a better kiss to keep working. I can't work in these conditions. So filled is a little <laughs> stiffer, and I love the flat wire too. You should try to make a full leather bound book. Uh. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> now come back. <laughs> uh, you make me happy. That's good. But seriously though. You don't kiss you me, I'm going on, on these strike. Conditions. I get right. Mm. Get over here. Uh, you two are adorable. <laughs> I need a better kiss to keep working. No, it's a true story, though. My, my cuddle meter depleted entirely. Oh, oh. I think that mosquito bit my chin. I think it did. That mosquito's a son of a mosquito. What's happening right <laughs> now? Randy's rubbing my buffalo hump. Ooh, my lady. <laughs> I'm a little lady, lady buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you caffeinated, hon? No, I've been milking the same cup of coffee since like this morning. Are you high on love? Well, yeah. <laughs> Lisa says, I love that you've been together all this time, but obviously still you are crazy about Randy. He makes it easy to be in love with him, and it's very easy to just keep falling back in love all over again with him. I'm, I'm very pleased with past Vaughn's choice in boyfriends. <laughs> oh, you're rubbing it wrong. Are you leaving the chest piece in the gold color or are you coloring it differently? Rachel, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one gold because that's what the client ordered, but um, I don't know if you saw the Medusa piece that I had done where it was green and then I tinted it gold. I want to do a lot more pieces like that because I had a lot of fun <clears throat> um, kind of modifying out the colors. Like, that made me very, very happy. Na, 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 na. Uh, you can show it. Um, I'm actually 
actually waiting on supplies to come in, doing a leather-bound portfolio for my girlfriend for Christmas. Oh, that's cool, Necroptics. Have you ever used embossing glitter powder on your polymer clay? Just did it a few yeah. days ago. It turned out great. I just rebaked it instead of using a heat gun. Also, I use only clear gesso to a hair. Hmm. Here. Head I've here. never tried that, but I'll have to look into it because that sounds really cool. Oh my god, that's the sweetest thing. I feel the same way about my husband. Aww. I'd wish that on anybody. What did you ting it with? Huh? I'm not sure. Tint. Oh, um, I used, uh, to tint the scales, oh. I used Perlex pigment powder mixed into acrylic heavy gel medium. And then I just kind of brushed it on. Derpy's having a hard day. Oh, is he? Yes. Between trying to listen to the alarm clock on her radio with her headset. Right. Getting scared at the trash can outside her window. Oh, gosh. And then the fursuit head behind her. Can I lift this? I assume Derpy Pigeon's in her Yeah, I thought so, too, but sometimes it does. Thank you so much for all you do. This is the first time connecting with you guys. It's been a pleasure. Love you both. Great Can job. Can I have some more gold scales? Talking about the leather portfolio, and then you did leather book cover the next day. All right, on. By the way, I'm a she. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Derpy. <laughs> I dare not assume that. Right. <laughs> What is it, that pigeon's gender? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How dare you impose gender standards on that burb? <laughs> on that burb. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn. Working hard, I see. Hardly working. That's I me. I love your work. I have made some dragon eyes in clay, but the wire wrap eyes are so hard for me. Right on. I watch your videos over and over trying to get it right. Mm. Practice will make progress, that's for sure. Just keep at it and keep doing what makes you happy, and I think that'll be good. See, whenever we do it like this, I'm able to get lots done. Ooh. My back well, is you've killing me. Done one, two, three, four. Are you on your fifth row? Mm, I'm on my more than fifth. Give me a second, I'll count. You do that so fast when I craft, I usually watch Le YouTube and it takes me <laughs> Le a, YouTube. <laughs> a ton of time because I get distracted. Right. Would it work to mix the size of scales? Um, in, kind of. If you were to mix the size of scales, like something that you could do is go from small to medium to large and then back down and get a little bit of a cupping effect. But you would also have to use different sized rings. And that is not something that I've done, but I think it definitely warrants some experimentation. Because that's that would be really cool. I've made like super simple like earrings and necklaces before. Um, like in scale strips. Making, um, you know, using different sizes of scales. But I've never done it in sheets before. You are a machine. I am the machine. <laughs> Do you have a raised table so you can do it while standing for a minute to ease your back? Um, no, but that'd be a really good idea. <laughs> what is the machine? <laughs> I actually finished my seventh throw. Oh! Yeah, keep reading me all the comments. I love hearing... Hi, Mary. <laughs> hey, Mary. Says so Derpy. Okay. That's it. But yeah, it helps a lot to kind of prep the row, like how I do. Nobody said anything. I kind of want to draw a face on my tummy and then have it like talk to everybody. I don't think that would be a wise decision. I don't think that would be a wise decision, but it would make me happy. Why are we loudly whispering? Why are you? I'm not loudly whispering, you are. Whenever I get to my row of ten, I'm going to stand up and take a break. Okay. I know it's an odd question, but do you know everyone who does oval-shaped metal rings in different gauges? I.e. eight gauge. I ended up buying a six-inch ring to reshape, to reshape, and do a 5.5. 5. 
inch signs. I don't. That'd know be what really that cool. I I bet we could do that if we had the right shaped manroll. Maybe. Show hmm. us your collection of machine guns. <laughs> I don't have a collection of machine guns. Oh, that's sad for you. Um, love your craziness. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo did that. Made her ah. belly button sing. It came, or I'm coming out. Haha. <laughs> I've been doing it since Honey Boo Boo was born. <laughs> since before she was born. Watch uh, live uh, naked girls now. What? Oh, I want to no. watch live naked girls. Well, they Not didn't really. even give you a, a link. It's yeah. just insane. <laughs> it's like, go do this. It's like, oh yeah, I should go do that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Joke's on them. I know there's single ladies in my area. <laughs> we want to date you. <laughs> that was the best, like, meme. Wasn't it? Yeah. Hi, Vaughn and Randy. I'm lucky enough to be happily married for 17 years to my best friend, Joey. Aww. The two of you remind me a lot of us. Aww. He takes such good care of me, especially since I'm sick with cancer. Oh no! Well, I'm really glad that you have Joey, and I hope you heal well from your cancer. So good to know other people are just as crazy. <laughs> Pat says, how about watching Naked Men, Bun? Um, that's actually, I don't know. This is going to sound really biased, but girls are prettier than guys. Like... Can confirm. Can confirm. Like, men in general, like, I don't know, they're kind of funny looking. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my girlfriend's like they're all hairy and weird. Is that design from three Celtic circles weaving together and an mm -hmm. oval around all three? So it's something I'm working on for the portfolio. Right on. That sounds really cool, Necroptics. But yeah, I don't know where where you would get ovals like that. Eight. I just took my pigtails out and I look like a dog who hasn't been groomed in years. <laughs> well, it's, I don't know, and that's because I've seen a lot of male dancers that are very graceful and, like, you know, but it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking about this now because I don't want to say anything incriminating. I was going to say, what kind of male dancers you've been watching except for the Olympics? Ballet on Instagram. <laughs> ah. But even then, like, a 60-year-old man dancing around is not as pretty to me as a 60-year-old woman dancing around. That's pretty. Like... <laughs> as a straight woman, I don't want to look it up on your naked man either. <laughs> six centerpieces, not six. Let's go. Cool. Well, I'm glad you're being productive. Hey, man, give the trolls a break. We're all from different backgrounds and been through different, different things. things. They're just people with poor social and communication skills. <laughs> That's fair. We've got a SJ troll here. An SJ troll. Social justice troll. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me go read a bit, but it was fun watching you guys again. Well, thanks for hanging out, Therapy. Um, okay. Um, haha, no worries. I'd share a picture of the design, but I can't post links here. Ah. I'm excited for this month. My birthday's coming up. Right on. It's nice to be all. Hello, Vaughn. Hello, Randy. Well, happy early birthday, Kristen. You know, I'll do a video in the future about chain <laughs> hey, or scale pieces for the lower half of the body. Most things for women are butt cloths. <laughs> Excuse and I me. I want more than that. Right on. That's a really good request, Alexis. I'll do that. I passed on the 60-year-old dancer. I'll pass on the 60-year-old dancer. <laughs> well, I hope I'm still dancing when I'm 60, so... Bless you. Well, happy late birthday, horror. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just all sneezes. What are you making? I am making a scale top. You can see an example here. This is what one of the cups look like. And then this is what the back side looks like. Or is this things? Mm -hmm. I want armor to cover and be functional, not just pretty. Right on. Well, I hear then, that. What's the point of wearing it? <laughs> you, you want a uh, high level warrior class armor not high level mage class armor because the mage class armor is naked question what yes. is the highest chain mail hardest chain mail weave you've done and, and why? why 
because um, you hate yourself. <laughs> gosh. No, um, that's the why. But oh. what, what was it? Well, I don't know. I'm actually pretty limited in my not chainmail like vocabulary, but just in the weaves that I'm actually like good at. I have the hardest time still doing half Persian four in one. I have to look up a tutorial every time. And but I've never tried like elf weave or Jacob's Ladder or you know, a lot of there's some really like Probably the hardest you've done is Dragon Scout. Yeah, but even then it just turned out to just be time consuming. You only make one every six months or so. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably dragon scale, and it's because it's so time consuming and the rings are so tight. Um, uh, when you wire wrap, you say work hardened. What does that mean? Um, whenever you work with a dead soft wire, um, it's going to become more brittle um, and harder. Oops, I have a bad connection. I'm away from my home and the signal isn't quite catching up. Can okay. I watch the rest of this video sometime later? Yep, that's exactly how this works, Virginia. You won't be able to ask questions live, but if you're watching it after the fact and have any questions, you can just type them down in the comment area and I'll do my best to reply to you. And that way you can still get kind of that interaction. Um, Sparkies, I, I do leave the back open. Um, these, this top, you can see it just like lays flat. This is designed as a decorative drape. Um, and so you would wear a support and structure bra underneath it. Um, but, uh, it's for making stuff for like selling in the booth and everything. I try to not put any fitting into it. Um, but you can totally, uh, put like a bikini top liner or, you know, some fabric there on the inside too. Have you ever made an armor skirt? I have. I've made some out of leather and some out of scales. Um, and some out of chain mail. That was not the funnest thing. It was not, it was, that was probably the hardest piece I've ever done. That was a feat of endurance. Have you ever done loom bands, the little elastic band ones? I haven't, but I've seen some really cool stuff made from it. <laughs> In video games, the less the armor covers on a female, the better the protection. Logic. It's um, distracting. It's distracting armor. <laughs> and more often than not, it's also like magic. And I think some of the principles on like why sorceresses wear such very little clothing is it actually exposes more of their flesh to the natural elements and like helps them like, oh, are you wiggling the backpack? What are you doing? No, no, your chair's breaking. Well, it's, yeah, it's broken. It's a little bit. Well, fine. <laughs> You're making me all self-conscious and it's wiggling my butt. <laughs> uh, work hardening means that it's time the wire it becomes stiffer and, and less, less easy, easy to, to manipulate. Bend. I use half hardened wire for some traditional wire wrapping projects. Melissa, you said it way better than I did. Thank you. <laughs> I'm being a um, Cheshire cat for Halloween. Is there any easy crafts I can do to make my costume look cool? Right on. Um, with the Cheshire cat, makeup goes a long way. Like the magic will start happening in the details. So like face paint, wearing like cute little partial gloves. Um, maybe getting your nails done, like, you know, just the more repetition and detail that you can add into the color scheme and the theme. Well, why don't they do sorcery naked? There's no place to hang your books. <laughs> yeah, because you need at least a belt to hang your books on, River. Um, but then also, uh, I don't know, <laughs> because game designers want it to be PG-13, not rated R. Um... <laughs> Is the best I can figure. Does anyone here use a? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Okay, it's just. Could you brush wool with a dog brush to make fur? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, and that's an idea for the Cheshire cat. That's it, very time consuming. Though. It is. Yeah, witches don't need clothes. Sparky's, you're right. <laughs> the big poofy, fluffy, multicolored tail is key. Mm -hmm. You can get some colored fur and make a wire brush to make it all poofy. That's true. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? Ooh. 
Yeah, probably. I don't remember. I used to know all the words to it in high school because Laura and I would walk through the through the hall, mumbling it and then hitting our heads on our books. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Just like from Money Python. Um, words. Keep up the good work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What did you make your bracer fur out of, Vaughn? Um, the fur on my bracer was just acrylic yarn that um, I looped through the leather and then brushed out. That way it would look like fur again. And then using the straightener, though, was key in getting it to be a little less poofy. Awesome. Um, that reminds me of the Doors movie. The Doors movie? Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah. Quite possibly. It's it's from uh, Mighty Python and the Holy Grail. There's a scene where the monks are walking through the street and they do their little like Gregorian chant and then whack their heads on their uh, tablets. <laughs> tablets. Vaughn, could you always sing us This is Halloween some more? This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Herp and derp. Derp and derp. Do 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 do. In this town. Derp derp derp. Oh, that's a cool idea. So I'm also thinking of making her more human-like. Oh, that'd ideas be cool. For, that? um, for the more human-like, I would really recommend. Have you ever seen um, Cats by Andrew Lloyd Webber? The way that those cats are done up, I think, is just the coolest thing. That's way too far out. There we go. Have you ever made a gemstone tree using wire or gemstone chip beads? I do. I really enjoy doing that. Oh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get up and stretch for a minute. No. Look at I got so much done. Why are you taking my? Why do you do that? So that you don't spill them. Cause we. Yeah. Right here. You notice I'm not arguing. Yep. No. I found it. Uh, if you want something custom made, you live in England, do you ship that far? I do, we but do it's like thirty more dollars. Pretty much. Uh, girls are waiting for you. <laughs> um, I love the cats musical. I need it on DVD. Randy, I've been watching a bunch of your videos to try and help you reach 10,000. Well, thank you. That means a lot. Uh, I once was making a little plate just as she was, but instead I was... What? But instead I was butt naked. Okay. That's how I usually craft, except for when we do live streams. <laughs> I Why think don't I'm you the use your room. other chair? What other chair? I do I guess the gray one. I don't know, because that one's even worse. <laughs> so what's new on my channel? Not a lot. I haven't really got to it. Um, we were super busy for like two weeks, and then we got home and immediately started disassembling the craft room. So I haven't had a lot of time for stuff yet. I have a few videos shot, and I need to like start putting them out, but there's one more video I need to shoot first. So until I get that one done, the others are going to have to just kind of sit in limbo. Uh, how many views do I have so far? That is a very good question, and I think I shall check. Because I am not certain. I think I'm getting real close, though. Uh, I see you're wearing henna tattoos. Can you do them yourself? Um, she can. She can do henna tattoos on both sides. How long ago did this start? Uh, this particular live stream started one hour ago, apparently. I am 379 views away from actually being able to monetize my stuff now. So that's good. Getting there. You cleaned up craft room, looks great. <laughs> Yeah, the craft room looks good, but the kitchen and living room and hallway and 
other room are totally, totally full. Have you considered using trend test? I don't know what that is. Do you play Overwatch or Dota 2? No, I don't. I'm currently doing uh, Smite, just because that's what I've been doing, and I would really like to expand and do some other games. I'm a pretty big South Park fan, and they're coming out with their second game very soon. The Fractured Butthole. The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> uh, I used to own the uh, Stick of Truth, which was their first game, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. A lot of people didn't like it because it gets really out there. <laughs> that's South Park for you. That, but that's South Park. That, that's just all it is. So I'm highly considering um, repurchasing it on Steam so that I can play it on the computer and doing videos of that first. And then uh, whenever the new game comes out, I will totally be able to do that. I'm in full support of that decision. Yeah, my name is Randy Vaughn. You can type something. Yeah. I could, yeah. If everybody wants to become a subscriber to Randy's channel because he's awesome, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Did you get the fan art you bought for... Uh, no, that wasn't for her birthday. That was for Christmas. Thanks for spoiling that. What? <laughs> what? You got me a thing? What? <laughs> uh, no. Let's see. Oh, uh, what else? I don't guess they realize I was going to come up behind your shoulder. I guess not. This no. is, that's why you never get to have surprises. That's why I never for get me. to surprise you. Well, it's not Randy, my eight year old friends. son loves game channels. Is any of your content stuff that would be appropriate for him to watch? Uh, all the stuff on my channel at the moment, mm -hmm. yes. The, the fractured butthole might not be. The South Park stuff that I'm wanting to do is definitely not. <laughs> so. I don't know. I think I can put like an age restriction on it, but I don't know how well that works. Actually, I don't even know if I can do that right now. YouTube is so with its yeah, thing. Yeah, YouTube's like, we hate you. Yeah. Bye. But uh, I'm thinking even if I can put an age restriction on it, I'm still going to put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video, and it's, you know, this is this has got uh, offensive material. Please, if you are easily offended and or underage, do not watch this because it's obvious gonna have reasons. Cussing. It's going to have sexual innuendos. Yeah. Not necessarily from Randy. Yeah, okay. right. Um, you'd be amazing who the trolls are. I'd use to track them. I think the fan art giveaway is very generous. People will love that. I hope so. I didn't get to read it. Don't know what was... Oh. Yeah, I see. At least they didn't say what the fan art was of. Yeah. You know? I have I have knee pads and I have an outfit for it and some gloves. I need some ears. Oh, you're talking about your Cheshire cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember you being an ace at walking. Age restriction videos can't be monetized. That's totally fine. At the moment, none of my stuff can be monetized, which is why I was very heavily considered about going ahead and doing it. Uh, fair enough. How are the two here? How's the rearranging going? How is the rearranging going? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm getting tidied up a little bit. We need to we need to put that rack up because then all of that stuff will be able to go on um, the rack. Almost all the artwork in my videos are not my art. They're just art that I've purchased. So. The chances of seeing the stuff that I've arted, like on paper, Good is luck, very you slim. You he, probably he, won't see that. He barely even shows me what he makes. Yeah. Um, mm. Let's see. I used to get that song stuck in my head for days. Look up videos on how to prevent yellow dollars. Ah, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> uh, you've got my sub now. Well, thank you. Where much like we need to put the receipt right here? Uh, just right there is fine for now. I'll put it away later. Okay. Uh, we just need to go 
put a 15 second clip on repeat until the end of the day yeah and that's actually what I've noticed like I have a 17 second video of Vaughn and it's not even joking my highest viewed video I don't know if it's because it's 17 seconds and people are just constantly rewatching it or if it is what it is or if you're going to have to beat me to the stick. Yeah. Um, I'd love to have an original Randy Vaughn drawing. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to say no, because you're never going to say never, but it's highly unlikely. What's that? Um, me actually drawing something. Ooh. Thank you to all of Randy's new subscribers. Indeed, thank you. And that's also, do you want to take an opportunity to promote your poll? Because if we could hit... I haven't even done that yet because really? I need that one video done. Okay. I mean, I have the video shot. I just don't have it well, up and I don't have a poll. now that y'all are subscribed to Randy, you'll see whenever he posts his new Patreon video and his poll and stuff. Because um, to kind of encourage him to keep doing his YouTube, um, if we hit 30 votes on his next Patreon poll, I'm going to do a fan art She's of the winner. So, well. We almost hit it last month. I think we got like 16 votes. And she was something like 30 was what she uh, had said. Yeah, I'm like, surely we can get 30 votes. Because these are pretty intense costumes, so I don't want to just be like, oh, yeah. we got three votes. <laughs> a 17 second video is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Hold back muscles. Yeah, that sucks. Pixie mutton chops. What you doing? I'm hiding at my spot. I'm going to come sit over here. Oh. I'm going to have the camera come in this way. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Because I figured this way I can start sculpting the horns. After yeah, that time. It's more or less fully charged. Okay. nerve and back for two weeks. Oof, yeah. That's bad. Oh yeah, the uh, siren dog one. <laughs> that was... They still do that every time. Sometimes if we catch them early enough, we can nip it in the bud. Yeah. It takes a lot of cuddles to get them to calm down, but sometimes we get it. Other times, they're just like in our face doing it, and it's so loud. Say, like, Mom, Dad, we're dying to death, don't you know? Uh, when is our next show? Um, October 21st? October 21st. Is the Maple Leaf Festival. No. Yes. It's the Maple Leaf Festival. I know we will be going to Springfield to teach a Tandy Leather class on thermoplastic. Is it, is it on thermoplastic or is it on a bracelet? It's on thermoplastic. Okay. And thermoplastic's on the 15th. 14th. 14th. You sure? I could have sworn it was the 15th. How kind are you going to be streaming? How kind are you going to be streaming? I'm not sure. Probably how long. Yeah, how long are you going to be streaming? I don't know. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? We've got a bunch of stuff we have to do, though. Just a little longer. There is a cup of coffee in my way. Keeping me from typing. Oh, and that's not you? right. That's right. Love you, too, baby. Yeah, I know that there's no rug under here, so I just slide everywhere. We're gonna have to get, uh, get your videos running in the background muted so numbers will go up. That's what I've been doing for Lauren. Mm -hmm. Seriously, every night before I go to bed, I just go to her playlist and click, uh, not even playlist, just her channel, and click play all and turn off the speakers, turn off the monitor, and go to bed. Did so, you have a spot for batteries? Um, yes. There you go. So hopefully we'll be getting her up Yay. pretty soon. That'd be so cool. 
himself in the head. Do you guys know where I can get wool, not wool yarn, for fur? Hmm. I don't know. I know that they have some wool shearling stuff at Tandy, but that's quite expensive. You know? Yeah, depending on where you live, you might check Craigslist. Yeah, there's like, small-time you're... farmers everywhere who'd probably be glad to sell it off. Yeah, if you're, like, way out in the boonies, then... Maybe there's some, one of your neighbors has sheep and you just don't know. Some of the goat wools might work pretty well too. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Okay. You ready to take it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. She's finally ready. Uh, if you've never watched Anchorman, it's... <laughs> It'll make you dumber. <laughs> it's its own kind of thing, honestly. What is that? Just, it's an extension oh. cord. Like, if you like Will Ferrell movies, then you're going to enjoy it. Sorry, guys. Just a sec while I destroy everything. That's our ceiling. Ooh. for honey okay so this is the craft room from a different perspective Oof. okay <laughs> no that's just the way the ceiling is I know so much floor space I love it ah well thanks you Kristen did you say you play Overwatch? No, he doesn't play Overwatch. My back's just killing me. Okay, you guys, so I'm doing the, on Instagram, I'm doing, hey Danger Noodle, I'm doing hashtag getting fit for cosplay. And so I got a pedometer. And like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I got like 8,000 steps in. And today, I've been sitting on my butt. I only have like 1,700 steps. Um, so I'm desperately going to have to like get up and move around. Um, cause my goal is to hit 10,000 steps a day, right? <sighs> so it's a lot easier to do when I'm rearranging the whole house every day. <laughs> hey, what you eating in there? I'm hungry. What? Are you eating? No. I want to eat. Yes, how huh, you're eating. Can I have some? No. Can I have one of those bottles of water? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Poor Randy. <laughs> Overwatch is cool. Right on. Glad to be on the same wavelength. And she leaves us. <laughs> now I'm back. He didn't really have food. It just sounded like it. <laughs> Yeah, even the dogs are in there now being like, we're hungry, do you have food? But if you bring me food, though... What? What? Oh. What did you say? Could you bring me food? Okay, <laughs> we're all here. Hey, Lynn! <laughs> Woo, Christy's dinner just arrived. Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I'm pretty excited to have the craft room set up like this. I really am. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think so. Oh, thank you, love. Did I tell you guys about the deep freeze breaking? That happened. Has anyone ever commissioned you to make something you were uncomfortable with or said no to? I've had to say no to a, 
Oh, I thought you were handing me a bowl of food. No, that's what Sam thinks, too. <laughs> um, I've had to say no to people because our commission schedule is full. But for the most part, like, sometimes we'll actually get people, like, people will ask us to make stuff specifically to try to make us uncomfortable. Like, um... Like your chicken biscuits? Yeah, like the guy who, he wanted a chainmail, like, thong. A banana, banana hammock. And he was like, and I was like... He, he wanted a price estimate, but you could tell he was just trying to get a rise out of me. So I just rolled with it. I was like, you know, well, the price is going to depend a lot on how big the pouch you need it to be. And then also how dense of the weave. Like, do you want large holes or small holes or what? And he was like, well, I don't want my dog biscuits hanging out. And that threw us off a bit because I've never heard him be called dog biscuits before. But I was like, that's fair. And I gave him a price quote and he never pursued it. And I was like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> so it's I don't know I usually it, we err on the side of good natured humor um and we'll make it a jo we'll make a joke out of anything just to try to disengage any kind of negative confrontation <laughs> um yeah it, Daniel says the best way to deal with them yeah it is pretty gross I mean not to mention that like you don't want to wear a chain mail but like no, don't put metal rings down there. That's a bad idea. <laughs> but I'll cover his ass in chainmail if he pays me to. <laughs> so sorry. Um, today I am making a scale mail top for a lady's outfit that I was commissioned to make at our last convention. <laughs> oh, thanks, Melissa. <laughs> I need it to be big enough to hold a basketball. <laughs> so it's she left her food. Mm-hmm. I am getting kind of hungry, though. Maybe when we finish this talk. Can you keep reading me people's comments and stuff so I can keep working? Um, well, <laughs> that's the way to handle ding-dongs. <laughs> That is the way to handle ding dongs. My dad is home. I'll be right back, y'all. I kind of want to make a scale mail dress, but I know it's going to be super heavy. Right on. If you're going to make a full scale mail dress, I really recommend. Because I just slipped the switch on to turn ah, the power on. Okay. Um, I really recommend adding in some leather shoulder straps and using split rings because the weight of itself will pull it apart. Um, my boyfriend just getting into making chain mail jewelry. I would like to get some skin out for him to practice with. Right on. The ring lord. I highly recommend the ring lord. They actually have some kits and stuff. So that's charging. I wouldn't imagine that big of a project with split rings. But split rings take much longer. Split rings take way lots longer, but it's to on a project like that to keep it from pulling itself apart, you kinda have to go with um either that or because I wouldn't even recommend steel because that makes it so heavy. Mm -hmm. Um do you have a video over what you're doing? I do have a video showing how to weave scale tops the way that I am. Um, just weave in scale mail. And I think it's actually, the video itself is just called How to Weave Scale Mail. Dun, dun, 
Um, I loved your jewelry tutorials. I made a few pieces similar to yours, and they look great. Right on. Well, I'm really glad my tutorials were helpful to you. Have you ever made a scale mount purse? I have seen them at the SCA events before. I have never made a scale mail purse before, but that would be super cool to make. I've done some scale mail dice bags, so I mean, I guess that's pretty similar. Sparky says they're going to have to look it up. Right on. I recommend it. Scale mail's a lot of fun. And I think it's a, way, it's a lot faster than just weaving chain mail. So you get, um, it's more expensive to make than just plain chain mail. Um, uh, no, I don't have a video for the dice bags yet, Daniel, but I, I should do one. You should. <laughs> Add that to my... Do you have one on Hackies? I don't yet. What? I know. How do you not have one on Hackies? Just a matter of getting videos shot. Sing in choir. I look forward to contacting Ooh. you after November. So excited. XOXO. XO. Right on. There's a bummer. A door. So she was out on display 24 7. What's that? Um, someone adores their necklace and they have it out on display 24 7. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you feel like the pressure of getting your crafts done for people can get overwhelming? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you do to let go and get things done? Personally, I don't like to have time limits for my crafts. Um, I panic and cry a lot. Um, <laughs> and I, like, it's, I don't know. I don't know how I handle it. Randy usually helps me by sitting down with me. And just kind of walking me through a project being like, okay, now what do you need to do next? Because I'll be like, no, I want to go lay down. <laughs> like, and he's like, no, do this, get done, and you'll be fine. But usually once once he helps me get the ball rolling, I'm pretty good about like knocking a project out. It's just I get really overwhelmed by having like 20 different things that need done. But it's like I need to sit down and actually pick one and do it. And that's the hardest part for me. Is doing that. You could do another video on helm weave. Ooh. I think you've done one in the past. It just may not have been that great. We did, and I'll I'll revisit some of my older chainmail videos as well, where like the sound might not have been that good, or I might have done half of it off of camera. Um, you know how I do. Um, as the wild von do. Is asthma going to help with your video productivity and stuff? Maybe. I'm really excited for... Do what? I doubt it. I don't know. Well, Azmuth is going to be trying to get a day job, and he's he's kind of doing his own thing. We're just... Our path is lining up next to each other for a while. So, um, we're just... We're going to see... We don't really have a whole lot of expectations or requirements about Azmuth, but we're really excited for him to be moving in. So, which I need to send him a video of the attic so he can see what his room's going to look like. Oh, yeah. We still haven't done that. Have we still haven't done that. Ooh. I was excited to see how close to 50,000 subscribers you've got. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how close you are to that. I'm about 4,000 away. What? Yeah. So what you're saying is you'll have it by tomorrow? No. No, I've been getting like 30 subscribers a day because the videos I've been putting out are either like live streams or not very good. Like. Okay. So I'm really going to have to like up my game. Gotta keep doing better. What happened to the two camera setup? Um, it's a good question. Well, with the cameras that were sent to us, um, they, I don't know if it's our SD cards or what, but I kept losing footage. Like, random bits of the footage would go corrupt, and it's like every, like, 22 minutes it would stop recording, and then, like, 30 seconds later start recording again. Um, and it's like, yeah, and I experimented with it. It took, I think, too much editing. Um, it did not have the kind of positive feedback that I was hoping for. Um, so was, I feel like for something like this, where it's like live streaming, I, I'd love to be able to have a camera set up to where I can talk to y'all like this, and then a camera set up where you can see up close what I'm doing, but for doing a video that's like... I'm teaching you how to do a thing, 
you don't you don't really need to see me you don't need to like I mean just one angle is pretty good I think so <laughs> I'm so happy for Vaughn. She's growing so quickly. Aw, thanks, guys. I'm very, very blessed. Like, I can't believe how how nice it is. <laughs> Have you thought of a GoPro for the close-up? Um, that'd be really cool. Uh, we just actually got this phone paid off. Um, so we're going to focus on paying off the van before... Um, like a month ago. Yeah, well, it was, it's been a busy month. Yeah. You know, so it's, I mean, this is the first time we've had to, like, kind of sit down and think. Speaking of, man. <laughs> um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, a GoPro. Yeah, it's before we invest in a GoPro, um, we're going to try to get the van paid off. And, like, just kind of, I don't know, uh, keep coasting on what we're working with before investing in new, uh, like, cameras and stuff. Two cameras for live streaming might be good, but I like the one cam for tutorials. That's fair, Melissa. And until we get better internet, I can only do one camera anyways, because the phone is actually just using our phone signal. Because it goes so slow and horrible whenever we use, um, the house internet. So bad. So bad. Okay, I thought there was a bug on the ceiling, but I, it was just a spot. I really like the room like this. Do you like the room like this? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah? Maybe especially the other uh, rooms of the house weren't so... I'm working on it. I, I did as much as I could before I ran out of stuff to... Like, I don't know where this goes anymore. <laughs> I don't know where anything goes anymore. And all my drawers are full. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We only owe 700 on the van. Well, we might be able to just pay the van off this month. I don't know about this month, but we can take a big chunk out. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. Two cams for a live stream might be good, but I really like one cam for tutorials. Mm -hmm. It's very smart, Vaughn. Yes, one stupid internet. <laughs> what happened? Or, yeah. What ended up happening with your 360 camera for a few months ago? It's still sitting up there because we haven't had time to look at it. It's still sitting in its bag because we have not had the time to figure it out. We cannot live stream with it. Don't know why. Um, but because we could stream just not on YouTube. So we might just get um, some footage with it and then edit it and upload it. But I don't even know if our video editing software can handle 360 footage. Like, I, I just don't even know where to begin. So, um, maybe get a label maker. Could help you out in organizing your drawers. A label maker would be super helpful. <laughs> but again, um, it's just a matter of, let's just get, you know, to where, like, the kitchen. You can't even walk around in the kitchen right now because there's just boxes and shelves and yeah, basic... the boxes out. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Randy. But there's still a table and a set of shelves just in the middle of the floor. <laughs> so, and then the living room has just, like, tables everywhere. Popcorn sounds amazing. It really does, doesn't it? We have those bags that Lauren left here. We can eat her popcorn and then buy her more. <laughs> Will you go make us popcorn? Maybe. Please. Maybe. Please. It is getting to the point where I'm actually going to get it need a new computer. Yeah, Randy's gonna need a new computer before Sooner I get any new anything. I was expecting. Oh? It does that thing now where if it shuts off. Can you hand me those gold scales? It could be hours before it comes back on. Yeah. And with it totally not wanting to communicate with my phone Thank anymore. You. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Mikio, the way that I, uh, stream on Facebook is just through the Facebook app on the phone. It just has a little thing where it says live stream and you click it and then you do it and it's easy. Like I had a lot of fun live streaming that one time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
Hey, I thought it was Snow White with red hair actually. <laughs> Y'all hear him in the kitchen? <laughs> Samuel Dog. <laughs> Good. I woke up a bit late. Missed my unit class. Oops. Hope your morning. How's your morning been? It's been going pretty good over here, Lee. Did you ever watch Hocus Pocus? Yes. Oh, it's been ages though since I've seen Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Mandy's making popcorn. What? Many have Facebook lag, but Vaughn didn't. Right on. <laughs> well, thanks, River. She says you're cute, Z. Hey, Z Dog, you want to come read comments for me? Ready to weave some scale nail? Hey. Hey, derpy dog. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Oh, that's your face. Where's your paw at? I'm tired, Z dog. That's what you sound like. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, they don't want to hang out with me when there's food cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> um. oh, oh, it's just work. <laughs> I thought it was food. I thought we were bringing me food for eating. too bad, but I've been in pain all week, so I'm laid up in bed. Oh no, Brissy, I hope you get to feeling better. I've been having lower back and hip pain, like, ever since this weekend. I don't know, I don't know what, like, I feel a lot better after I stretch and stuff, but <sighs> it's just a matter of needing to do it more, I guess. Fun. have you ever made a dream catcher before? Not in a long time. But I love the way that Dreamcatcher looks. They're beautiful. Have you ever thought of one-on-one -on -one mentoring online? Um, I have, except for, uh, I don't know. I would have to start, stop doing some of the other things that I'm doing right now. Um, and it's, I, I don't know, that we just got all the balls being juggled again. So, um... Like, I, I don't have room in my schedule yet for one-on-one -on -one tutoring, but um, it's not ruled out as something that we might be able to do in the future. It would be better to do advanced videos on Patreon rather than a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and that's, I mean, because something with the one-on-one -on -one is it's like, it's so limited in how many people I could actually, like, I mean, if I did a one-on-one -on -one thing every day, you know, uh, it's only like 30 people I could help in a month. <gasps> Whoa, is that for me? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm really hot, but good. Well, yeah, it just came out Can I have a beer? Is it really 8.47? No, I think that, yes. I can have a beer. I'm not going to get anything done with it. <laughs> I didn't ask if you could have one. I asked, is it really 847? No, it's 524. Can oh, you make the cat be off for me? I sure, but... Mm. This popcorn's amazing, actually. 
I haven't had microwave popcorn in like, gosh, almost a year. <laughs> I normally eat them with chopsticks that my fingers don't get all gross. But I have to keep working, otherwise I have to stop streaming. Ooh. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Hey, Azmuth. What would you think about once a week for maybe an hour monitoring on the business side? Maybe. Mmm, garlic parmesan powder. That sounds really good. <laughs> Um, which that's what I try to do kind of with the live streams is that if you have any business questions or anything like that I will try to help you as best as I can it's just I don't ever want to be like domineering and like telling somebody well you need to do this this and this because it's like I can't tell you that only you can tell you that only you can decide what you need to do for your business and I can give you suggestions all day long and help you weigh the pros and cons of your decisions you know, potential pros and cons, um, and help you from my background. But again, the things that, something that did not work for me might work perfectly for you. Hi, Brissy. I just replied to you. Right on. That's a good idea, Brissy. Or, uh, buttons. Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> When you have children, they will be brought into a world of talented parents. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Glennis, but I can't actually have kids. So, um, well, so if we ever do, they'll be adopted. So hopefully they'll like me. <laughs> I just need your hands so I can be more efficient in my wire wrapping. Right on. Or more effective. And let's keep in mind, I've got 10 years of wire wrapping experience under my, under my leggings waistband. Because I don't wear belts. Um, <laughs> hey, Pamil. So it's um slow and steady progress make or practice makes for progress. Oh, excuse me. Do you have crack on yours? You have crack on yours. I do? Yes. I didn't taste any. And by the way, crack is white cheddar. Oh yeah, crack is the white cheddar powder that goes on popcorn. Can I have some chopsticks? Mm. All of mine over here have paint on them. That's terrible, man. That's yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna craft a little with you instead. Right on. Well, thanks for crafting with me. We're having beer and popcorn for dinner because we're adults. <laughs> Fun. I was adopted. I would have loved you as a mom. All oh, right, on. Hey, donkey. Come on, you know I'm already tipsy. Just, just put them in my hand. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Can I touch the screen with the? No. Anyway, I was we say crack kills. Maybe the crack of your butt is showing. <laughs> Noise. Crack. We call that crackle. Crack kills. Trying to figure out which drag queen to paint next, running behind today. Who is your favorite, Vaughn? Um, I really loved your day two that you did. I don't know like the names of a lot of drag queens though. So. Um mm. I can't remember her name. There's a drag queen based out of Memphis that I really enjoy. That one of my friends is actually like his um her pageant mom. Butter. Buttered and salted, because I indulge all the way. And covered in white cheddar powder. Semi real dinner, rice and chicken. About eleven thirty, I'm an adult too. Or whatever, right? <laughs> I'm so pleased the world gets it. I just oh, chopped. Uh-huh. 
You know, you said that, and I was like, where? But, no, he's on, he's in the stream. I'm having hot and sour Asian soup. Right on. How do you run chopsticks? What? I don't know what it means to run chopsticks. Do you mean how do, how do I use chopsticks? <laughs> Look at that curly dog tail. Playing with its butt. <laughs> Back to work. Actually, rice and chicken sounds really good because we have that leftover rotisserie. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'd like that for dinner? Maybe. Ooh. Can you keep reading me people's comments? Oh, I got a mouthful of popcorn. Okay, well, in between mouthfuls of popcorn? No. <laughs> I tried a cheeseburger soup. What's cheeseburger soup? I don't know. But Tammy says, damn it, mom, they're making me hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so we got, uh, we started ordering from Blue Apron. It's a grocery delivery service. And we got more groceries just delivered to us yesterday. So we've got, like, a fridge full of groceries that I don't feel like cooking. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Ooh, I love pomegranates. Do you know where she can get really tiny scale now? They sell some half inch um, scales on the ringlord.com. And those are the smallest I've ever been able to find. What did we do for our first date? Was our first date that time that we went walking, or do they mean uh, like first? I think we were still friends. Okay. I think the first date consists of a tornado Perry's, right? Yeah. For Randy and I's first like date, or at least I don't know, because Randy and I were friends before we started dating. And think it says blue apron is I'm not impressed. I'm in week two azimuth, so I'm still pretty impressed to give it like another month And I might have a different opinion, but for now they give me everything in little packets <laughs> Um, Randy and I's first like date as like Romantically uh, interested in each other. I don't know cuz I was always romantically interested in you a I was not a hoe I was a little bit of a hoe. Um, I just I thought he was hot like I was like I want to hang out with this guy, like, hang out with this guy, <laughs> like, and I'm not the type to typically be attracted to guys, but, um, but no. They I, have little pancakes? Who's got little pancakes? I don't know, packages, never mind, I can't oh. read that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. But, um, no, it's, well, well, we went to an arcade together, that's the story I keep trying to, to tell. Oh. <laughs> I love little pancakes. They're so yummy. Put them on bunny heads. I like giant pancakes too, though. Actually, probably my favorite is a pancake pyramid. Big to little. Just. <laughs> you want to do it upside down? No, no, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. Why would you do that? Because then you can make pancake tacos. Yeah, but if you do it upside down, then the further down you get, the smaller the bites go. So that's motivation mm -hmm. to keep going. But if you do like the first layer as just a bunch of little pancakes and then a big pancake and then another layer of little pancakes and then a big pancake and then another layer of little pancakes and then you've got diabetes because <laughs> that's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> what else is everybody saying? Mm, waffles, blueberry pancakes, Ooh, I like pancakes waffles. that swim, run, Ooh. wet, die slash... 
resin makes, would you recommend to make resin, ruby, amethyst, and opal gemstones? Um. Cost effective one time project. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, polymer clay, possibly. Um, but for the resin, uh, I would actually recommend going over and checking out my friend Lauren's channel because I haven't done any resin casting and she has. So it's like, I don't know what you would use to, like, do you put Pearlex in it, I think? I don't know if you could use alcohol ink. So, I don't know. I know pomegranates are my favorite color of red. What about French crepes? Ugh, I'll eat French crepes so much. Like, that's the, that's the main reason why I don't cook crepes at home is because I'm like, crap, now I have to cook 80 crepes. <laughs> and they take forever to cook. Uh, Lauren's YouTube is LaRuin Cosplay. It's L-A-R-U-I-N C-O-S-P-L-A-Y. Um, I have her on my channel as a, um, featured? as a featured channel. Her and Randy and Azmuth are all featured. Ooh, and Fred. Fun. It's more in the stitches right Oh. Yeah, thank you, Necroptics. Ooh, my capillaries are expanding. Lara told me the science behind why I get warm every time I get tipsy. Uh oh. Uh oh. One got away from me. Oh. What else are people saying? When painting dragon eyes, how long do you wait between layers? I wait anywhere from between like two and five minutes in between layers if I want it to be like clean lines, but I usually do them like right after each other too because I really like messy, like goopy. It blends the colors out better, I think. How is remolding going? Remodeling? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> remodeling has gone exceptionally well. Do you want to see? Okay. So that's my corner. That's where I sit. <laughs> when it, actually, that's whenever um, my stomach blushes. When my, my, it's not blushing. <laughs> what? He what? said my stomach blushes when my cheeks blush. So I checked. Who does? Daniel. Hmm. Um, but no, that's where the wire wrapping in polymer clay corner. Um, that is where Randy goes to do his things. And then over here, we have, and keep in mind, this room is 12 feet wide. So we've got just a whole bunch of drawers all across the room. And then this table, no, not your belly, inside. Like the inside of your tummy. I can't check that. <laughs> so I can't check your science. It's a weird name. I'm not offended. Plus, I go by a bunch of other names. Right on. Oh, well, thank you, River. But... Azimuth, do you see the craft room? We can actually be able to fit you in here now. Oh, like the organ in the stomach, not like Mr. Tummy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna sit back down. <laughs> hey, doggies. Will you show us an update of what the storeroom looks like now? No. See, you took my spot. <laughs> the storage room right now is not even walk out of mm. No, we haven't done anything to the storage room, um, except for put more stuff in it. Which is counterproductive, I know, but... I know that you guys can sit on this side. But then you'll eat my popcorn. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm quite a lot done since you got back from the last con. Right, Sheila? Well, it's... Messy craft rooms make me sad. Like, my messy craft room makes me sad. So I don't know why I live like that. So I feel a lot better having less of a mess. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, we have a rotisserie chicken in the fridge, and I'm going to eat that. It is a Pink Floyd movie mashup every year, and right now I'm desperately trying to learn the vocal part for Great Gig in the Sky. Right on. That's really cool. Yeah. Is that like part of the choirs? As is that your given name or did you choose it yourself? Where is it from? Right on. 
for like money. If I said to you, I can have your popcorn. Mm hmm. Hey, Z. He looks really confused. Sit. You're a good boy to sit. Thank you. Hey, Sam, sit. Oh, you're a good boy to sit. Hey, Vaughn, sit. Ha, I did so good. <laughs> So oh, easy. yeah, Tom Petty. <sighs> it's always a shame. In the fifth week. Mm -hmm. Imagine if Sam or Z started to weep scale mount. Wow, oh, that's really <laughs> nice. I wish I could watch them these more often. But they're always in the inconvenient times. I should be sleeping. Right. Now. Sorry. Yeah. Smells like popcorn, maybe my popcorn all the time. <laughs> yeah, Sam and Z have Frito feet. Would you sit on your butt cheeks, please? Hey, sit. Thank Lost you. Lost too many good muscles. Our musicians this year. <laughs> right? I really did read muscles this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's the thing. Frito feet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their little pity paws smell like Fritos. Sam smells like Cornish Dorito. Well, okay, so Z's feet smell like Frito corn chips. Um, and Sam's feet smell like Doritos, cooler ranch flavored. Cool ranch, not cooler. Cool, cool ranch. I thought it was cooler ranch. I don't think it's cooler ranch. Because that sounds pretty gross. It's like ranch you find in a cooler somewhere. <laughs> it's been left out in the garage for six months. Mm -hmm. Since the last time you went But here. you can still eat it, because America. <laughs> um, how much would you charge for a necklace if you made the core clasp and jump rings by hand, but used the store bra charm slash pendant? Hmm. It would depend on what you wanted to make the chain of the necklace out of. Because, I mean, if it used a lot of gemstones or if it was, like, wire woven. But if you just want it, like, on a chain, I don't know. I'm I don't asking know. asking to see if I'm being reasonable. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, I'd have to see a picture of, um, of what you're talking about. Like, because if I used mechanized chain and a store-made clasp, I'd charge $5 for it. Um, because it's literally like two jump rings. Hey, like last suede storm. Cord. Oh, suede cord. Okay. Um, if it's a handmade clasp, I don't know. I'd still, I'd charge like how much, you'd have to factor in how much the pendant costs. But for the chain, I would probably still do like five. It depends too on how fancy the clasp is. Like, is it like coiled wire or is it like, you know, I don't know. Hey, in Spain. <laughs> and that's the thing is it's like I'm notorious for underpricing my stuff. So it's take that with a grain of salt. But keep in mind if it's super pretty, somebody might pay 30 for it. You know, so it's like. Must run. It's been fun. <laughs> BFN. Bye, Shelly. Where's BFN? Bye uh, for now. Bye for now, I guess. Greetings from the West Coast. Ooh, hello in the West Coast. I'm setting up for my first craft fair in about a week. Oh, Megan, that's exciting. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Do you do you feel prepared? Do it, Randy. I'm always afraid I underprice myself. Right on. Well, it's the way that we gauge it in our booth is we underprice a product at first. Um, and then, like, it, it gauge how well it sells from there. And then next time we make something like it, or, like, because chainmail is pretty replicable. So next time we make something like that. Um, bye, Lynn. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> oh, congrats on getting a cat storm. Ah, nervous that I'm forgetting stuff, but excited for the fair. You'll do great. Just remember your money box. Yeah, just remember your money box and your inventory. <laughs> but, uh, oh, what was I saying? Mm. I don't recall either. I hope to be eating healthier on the road. I'll have a stove and an oven. 
something on the road. Oh, wow, that'd be cool. Hey, all back home from the hospital after mm, having peace a peacemaker put in. in. I hope everything went well at the hospital. Last two rows on this scale top, you guys. Great job. They're arranging you and Randy did. Awesome. Thanks. Vaughn, you, you were talking about, about pricing. pricing. Right. Thanks, Manny. Um, <laughs> well, it, and so it's like, um, like a chainmail bracelet, for instance. If it's the first time I've made it or if it's a new line, we might start it at like 15, you like 10 or 15, depending on if it's very ring dense or a complicated weave and then uh, kind of gauge and go up from there. Sometimes I'll do an aluminum bracelet at 15 and then a uh, copper or stainless steel at 20. So yeah, here, I'm on my last couple of scales so I'll go ahead and get us a much more close-up view and what are we making we are making a woven scale top no I cannot teach the hate of chain mail out of you <sighs> well I don't have my camera arm set up oh that one was in there the, like, the piling stuff on? yeah do you want me to go get it Nah, this should be okay. Where are you going to place it whenever you do? Where that bin is. Oh. I'm going to clip it right there. Okay. So I don't know if you can see. So this probably isn't the best close-up. But I'm just hooking a ring through that scale, and then laying a scale on top of it, and then closing. And I do have a video tutorial out of how to do this, where the camera's actually like set up like properly. So that's something to keep in mind. And there we are. <laughs> what is this back bolt do? Um, it keeps it from sliding out. So there is the scale top. Vaughn, is that a leather jacket you're wearing? An official boulder holder? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. I'm going to put this back up here. It is the official boulder holder. It's a little vest that just sits and holds everything kind of up. Oh my gosh, is it warm in here to you? Nope, you're just drunk. Okay, my capillaries are, oh, my capillaries are expanding. Oh, the vapors. <laughs> oh, the vapors. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, crafty mom. That's so good, good. <laughs> I was upside down on the edge of my bed and I fell off onto the hardwood floor. I'm oh mostly no. okay. Mostly. These camera arms changed my life, you guys. Is that yeah. Leather? Okay. I'm having my nose right in your branches. Mm-hmm. What have I missed? Well, lots of stuff, Crafty Mom. Lots of stuff, Crafty Mom. I got one and a half of a scale top woven. So that's pretty good. One and a half? Yeah, well, one and a half oh, okay. cups of a scale top woven, I guess I should have said. Um, I've knocked out just a little above half of a beer, which is good for me, because I usually don't make it this far in my beer drinking escapades. Um, hello popcorn. Okay, Q&A time. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Well, Crafty Mom probably wants to see the room. 
Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this is the room. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little tipsy, I guess. No, I'm always like this. I need to drink to be silly. I'm just a little more scatterbrained, I guess. Doggy wants food. Doggy always wants food. I was getting the feet fixed on the camera. Okay, so again, that's my corner with the wire wrapping for the polymer clay. I don't have everything put away. Um, and I'm going to show you guys, like this is why Randy is still kind of stressed out. Is because, look at the, the living room is still a disaster. Oh my God, like, oh. okay. And then the kitchen, <laughs> I'm just going to show you an inkling. That's what the kitchen looks like. Like all these bookcases, just, oh, it's awful, you guys. Um, <laughs> Right? Yeah, that's just an inkling of it. There's still like a six foot table and stuff in there. Um, and then some <laughs> Z Dog is so cute on his bench. Um, that's the new leather working area. So I kind of swapped the leather working with my wire wrapping and polymer clay area. Um, I'm really pleased with all this stuff that's still piled up on the floor is going to be go. Yeah, he's crossing his paws. He's a dainty little man. Hey, Z. I love you. Mwah. Haven't been in a live stream in a while. Really happy to see you live right now. I'm <laughs> hey, Brooke. Really crappy day. Oh, no. Today, I know you all will make me feel better. Well, I really hope your day gets better, Brooke. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's, we're going to put a shelf across that doorway. Like, there's two more doorways into that room. So, we're just... But yeah, <laughs> Bernie says, that's why it looks so spacious. Everything's, everything you have is in the other rooms. Yeah, it's cheating. Yep. Um, but it's, we had to clear out a canvas to be able to put other stuff on it. So now this shelf here needs organized because it was basically just a catch-all um, during... <laughs> that whole side of the room was a catch-all. That whole side of the room was a catch-all. And so then we're going to just bring it in piece by piece and try to like... <laughs> yeah, Terry says it looks like you can actually breathe in there and let you create so much easier. That's that's the goal for sure. Come here, popcorn. You want to help me out with this popcorn? I don't think I can finish it all. I'll eat what you do. Okay. Home. Man, I'd love to have space like that. There we go. Yeah, just turn your dining room into a craft room. <laughs> yeah, just turn your dining room into a craft room. Now we just eat at our work desk. <laughs> the metal shelf bottom can hold mm -hmm. drawers. Yeah, we can fit drawers underneath there, but the you can see part. that thing right there is a vent in the floor that during the winter heat comes out. So we're going to have to leave like a lot of that open. Or at least store stuff there that is not at all going to be affected by getting blasted with heat. Um, so that's a thing. I meant bottom two shelves. Yeah. That's my huddle vent. Yeah. No, your huddle vent's in the kitchen, Azmuth, where you climb underneath the shelf. And it's like the... <laughs> my craft room used to be oh, a dining room as well. Shelf. Oh, bite that shelf. <laughs> Well, we can just tuck you in there. You're little. You'll fit. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> hmm. You. Where'd my beer go? Where'd my beer at? Is he such a good dog? But yeah, there's just, there's still a lot of stuff. And I can take, I'm going to break it down for you guys a little bit more too. Like over here on the workbench. We have, this is the printing slash shipping area um, with the printer, which is like the best printer ever. We've got a bunch of stamping stuff, some brushes, some Dremel pieces, and that's something that a lot of these drawers and things have not been very well organized. Um, and that's something that will kind of come later, like as it happens, like it'll kind of organize itself as it goes, because I need to figure out you know, the stuff that I use the most is going to stay more in the central area, and the stuff that I use the least is going to stay off to the sides. Um, and then we've got our paints, we've got leather working stuff. Check this out, you guys. We were at Walmart and found these Lazy Susans. 
and I wanted to check and see how much weight it could bear. So we went over to the exercise area and I put a 35 pound weight on it and it still turned just fine. So now check that out. Like, so now I don't have to pull it away from the wall and that's a ton of nail polish. So I'm super, I'm really excited and pleased that that has worked out so well. And then, where's the other, oh, we've got another organizer over here. What you hooing, honey? What's up? No. And then we've got more stuff over here. Woo. I've got more organizing and just stuff everywhere. But like this. My leather working tools and my paintbrushes. What's that? If only I was there, then I could meet Vaughn and possibly finish your popcorn. <laughs> Who said that? Score me, Vaughn. Right on. <laughs> oh, is the night bot freaking out on people? Yeah, Sorry. On uh, Founder. Oh, no. <laughs> did did Mikio just get into a fist fight with the night bot? So. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> hey, Bon and Randy, nice to see you too. The room looks great. Thanks, Allie. Excuse you, Z Dog. You gotta, you gotta let me put my butt there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just had to rub my butt on them. No, not me, Vaughn. Bon. <laughs> uh, Nightbot is a moderator thing that, for the most part, does pretty good. Like, you'll notice we do have a lot less trolls. Um, it's just picking on Mikio right on, but it's like, I need to go through and work with the settings to make it like, okay for somebody to send pretty frequent messages. Um, Vaughn, enough of the boring stuff. Act like Vaughn. I am being Vaughn. I'm just, I'm kind of tired and kind of a little tipsy. So I'm like just going really slow so I don't fall over. Where'd you get the first one? I missed what you said. Get the first one. What? <laughs> Let symbols through to Vaughn. Okay. <laughs> oh, what am I doing next? I guess I'm going to show you guys. I started carving nail, nail polish, polish rack. rack. Um, the, it's a, a lazy Susan, um, that I got at Walmart. And then I made the nail polish rack out of cardboard and old spool, like wire spools. So I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. <laughs> <laughs> but um okay so over here we have um this granite slab is actually being used to clamp oh no I got wood glue everywhere like everywhere what? um well cuz I glued and then clamped together these uh, pieces of insulation foam Yeah, oh, okay. for the ladies' horns. I just need to find something to wipe up my wood glue mess with. Because it didn't get on the table, it just got on my cutting mat. But still, I try to not make messes if I can help it. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, because I was using a spray adhesive. But it, I don't know if I used it too thick or what, but it really, it ate. hmm? It ate. It dissolved and ate the foam. Like, I was quite upset. Um, because it's like I didn't realize how much it had eaten into it until I had carved into the foam to make the horns. And it was just bad. <laughs> Wait, am I being different or something? Or... Right on. And in recent news, blah 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 blah. <laughs> it wasn't for that dreaded night bot, right? <laughs> now it's, I'm actually, for the most part, pretty pleased with the night bot. Um. Because it's like I didn't want to be relying on anyone to, to make them feel obligated to have to come in and moderate. Um, so it's like, right. <laughs> so, but I'm going to be carving some horns. I'm actually getting like super sleepy. 
I know, I have a ton of work to do. Everybody want to know if you're reading my comments. I just add something about an announcer voice and then you laugh. That's fair. <laughs> I don't see a troll. Right on. Thank you guys. <laughs> Let the troll through though. Yeah, but y'all remember how frequently we used to get trolls though. And like we don't, it blocks out the ones. Yeah, coffee. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. Can I have a fresh cup of coffee? What? Please? You ain't finished your beer. I, will, I don't think I should finish my beer. Like, I'm, I'm make, not going to drink it. Well, it's okay. I'll save it for the slugs. Why are you getting the slugs drunk? <laughs> no, I'm making beer traps for them. Yeah, why are you making the slugs drunk? To get them out of the garden. How do I want? I don't know. You take, like, a dish and you put it in line with the soil. And then you put a bunch of beer in it. And then the, the and slugs come and time. drown in it. And there's Irish people in your garden. And <laughs> there's Irish people in the garden. Really, Randy? <laughs> Vaughn, you had more than you thought I was blocking them, camera too. Right on. Well, I really I really appreciate you, Mikio. Do you sing and play music? You have a nice voice. Sometimes I re do, Regina. Um, I don't get to as much as I would like. Um, I don't know. I sing all the time, like whether I should or not. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> true. That's very fair. That's a good point. True says crushed eggshells will stop the slugs. But my chickens keep eating all the crushed eggshells because they're like, hey, this, you know, and they eat it and that's good. And it's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's good and it ups their calcium intake. But, like, you can make, like, little beer traps and stuff. But, um, if ducks weren't so noisy and messy, I would really love to have some ducks because my, my chickens don't really like slugs. Um, they prefer crunchy bugs but not stink bugs. My chickens are overfed and picky. <laughs> like when it comes down to it. Oh. Well, I hope your day gets better, Storm. <laughs> Do what? This is, how you catch Irish people. this is how you catch Irish people, is put beer out in the garden. They are spoiled chickens. I went outside and ate eggs with them this morning. Um, and uh, they, they stole my eggs, like out of my bowl, because we made smashed eggs for breakfast. Which is like, um, just hard, bo like boiled eggs smashed up in a bowl with like butter. Yeah, well, they started laying again. As soon as it stopped being 90 degrees every day, they started laying. Um, so there's that. <sighs> but yeah, they were laying in some weird spots. They're like on top of the rabbit towers and stuff. Like, I was just like, really? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, really, chickens? And they're like, Burr! and. <laughs> I get to go to my home provided Nova Scotia this weekend for Thanksgiving. I'm excited. Uh, we'll travel safe and have fun. You and Randy seem much more relaxed now that you've had time to recoup after all the traveling. Uh, Randy's really stressed out from me wrecking the house, but he's doing very well dealing with it. Um, but I feel way better and he usually, he mirrors me. Like if I'm super stressed out, he's stressed out. If I'm doing okay, he's doing more okay. And so I try to keep this together, like me together, that way he can have an easier time of it. Thank you, Randy. I'll make dinner after I get some coffee in me. I burnt the crap out of myself yesterday, last time I cooked. Like, see my boo-boo on my pinky? And then on this one, I cut myself on the grid walls. That was like a week and a half ago. And it's still not healed up all the way. But I was kind of tipsy cooking. And I burnt myself on the walk, <laughs> so I don't drink and cook anymore. <laughs> okay, horns though. Oh, man. Terry, there's two. Do what? Terry says your nail polish, Lazy Susan, is awesome. I was wondering it's if there's a chance you could actually show us the name of the nail polish and the it's color. Name the color. Um, I'll do that next time I do a dragon eye painting video, Terry. Um, but I've got almost every single color that they sell at Walmart and Walgreens. Um. You ate eggs in front of your chickens? That's horrible. I did. Well, I wanted them to see what all their hard work goes towards. Because I'm kind of sadistic, I guess. But they were eating them too. Like, chickens are very quickly turned to cannibalism. And they'll cannibalize their own eggs. 
um, if they don't have their, uh, with all due respect, please stop the Irish jokes. If I was to say how to catch a Muslim or black person by putting out a plate of beer, the world would be pissed. That's a fair point, but Randy and I do make fun of everyone, including and especially ourselves. So and we I'm don't mean to offend. Quite mostly Irish, so. <laughs> yeah, and Randy and I are both Irish. So, and I'm not going to be like, oh, well, it's, you know, that's our ancestry, so we get to make fun of it. But it's, at the same time, it's just maybe joke. chill out because it's a joke. <laughs> but again, I don't mean to offend. Right, and that's the thing, is that I'm not going to walk on eggshells, alluding. Uh... <laughs> you see what I'm going to say? Um... Oh, right. <laughs> um, I'm not going to walk on eggshells out of fear for offending anyone because something that offends me might not offend one of y'all. Something that offends Randy might not offend me. You know, so it's, I'll play it by ear, but right on. <laughs> oh, I got a shirt for this somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, Randy's got a shirt for this. Oh my god, really, some people are hypersensitive. All right on. What about the Irish? We do love our booze. I find that everybody likes their booze. But is that the coffee that I hear brewing? It might be. <laughs> I'm offended by your non-offensive Vaughn. I demand reparations. Come here and I'll reprimand you, Asmuth. Can I rub your ears? <laughs> Asmuth gets totally bothered when I give him ear massages. Like he blushes. Because I do it at horribly inappropriate times in front of large groups of people. Um, eyebrow waggle. Like... Because <laughs> I can't... Like, I, I can do that. That's all my... Like a Ferengi. Exactly! <laughs> As is like, no I don't. It's like, yeah you do. <laughs> Vulcan captain. No, Ferengis like it whenever you rub their... Uh, whole head. What's the, yeah, their whole head, basically. Because that Ferengi in Star Trek Enterprise had what's her face rub his ear ridges. And he was like, You're good wife material. And I was like, Did that did that Ferengi just call her a waifu? And so do Vulcans were just too proud, right? A Vulcan would not be caught asking yeah, somebody. He just assumed that Vulcan sexuality. Right. I remember the first time I got turned on, it was by a Fran Furter raising his eyebrow. Oh jeez, guys. Okay, so we're we're doing horns. Vaughn, Randy, and Dog. What are each of your favorite colors? Hey, Dog. What's your favorite color? No, pay attention to me. Hey, Sam. You don't speak English, do you? Nope. I don't know what Sam and Z's favorite colors are. <laughs> um, mine is like peacock colored and green, and I really like turquoise. Sam's is gray and Z's is slightly lighter gray. Um, uh, good night, Glennis. Right, they're colorblind. <laughs> right. Their eyes only have two cones of color receptors. Really? Yes. Does that mean that they can only see in gray tone, though? Or that they have, like... Oh, okay. Because I... Hey, Azmuth. You probably know more about this than I do. What cone receptors do dog have? Do dogs have? Um, for like, cause it's like, is it that they can't see reds? They see in muted colors? Dog, bark, bark, translate. Can you eat color? <laughs> Dorothy, color sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, so I'm using freezer paper. I see blue and yellow scale. I eat crayons. Yeah, I should do that. Like, dip a bunch of crayons in bacon and be like, eat your favorite color. Dogs can see color, just only blue, yellow, and combinations of them. Okay. <gasps> oh. And can I have a kiss? No! Can I give you a kiss? Maybe. Mm. Come back. That's the same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coffee! <laughs> You should do all your classes while you drink. Normally you're funny, but now you're really fun. Right on. It's like a million degrees in here, Who's though. A prude? I'm a prude. Is Randy a prude? I don't know. Probably. Where'd my fan go? It's a nice piece of foam. Yeah, like grass looks green to them, like grass to us, but green looks the same as red to them. 
Okay. What? Wait, you mean red looks the same as green? You just see my mutton chops flopping in the wind? <laughs> <laughs> I love it when my mutton chops flop in the wind. Sorry. Randy didn't even laugh at my joke, you guys. Why don't you love me? What joke? About my mutton chops flapping in the wind. Oh. See? It's like I one of those. Left on the inside. Did you? No, you're just all dead inside. It's okay. Mostly but it's like one of those commercials where the person's like duck facing into a high powered velocity fan. Velocity fan? Velociraptor fan. Eh, um, okay. what did Captain say? What happens when you need to channel your inner inner Elvis? <laughs> because it wasn't a funny joke. It wasn't even a joke. Yeah. You Asmuth. <laughs> I'm hilarious. <laughs> you love my jokes. Even that one that was that one time that like whenever you have a dream and it's but then <laughs> oh the thing. Oh my god! <laughs> You've been doing this so much. <laughs> <laughs> it is like a million degrees in here though <laughs> she has not stopped doing that since the convention <laughs> yeah it was awesome and I can't even remember how it goes I'm going to draw horns now I have to get back to work as <laughs> because I'm a professional adult Randy please show Vaughn the color scale that dogs can see or Vaughn show yourself I'll look it up uh, whenever I'm not on the phone. It wasn't even a joke either, it was gibberish, but you laughed, so it was funny. Even if it's a sympathy laugh. Oh, that's still really warm. <laughs> Getting the blood transfusion. Okay, how big was the horn that I did? Yes. I pulled in Myrtle Beach, but I still got oh, Gotta have my fix. Right on. Yeah. Well, I hope you're having fun at Myrtle Beach. That sounds like an adventure. <laughs> that sounded rude, Vaughn. Yeah, it did. I'm getting kind of rude, guys. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think that well, I have to get to work. <laughs> no. Ooh, bike week. Did you ride in or is it like motorcycles or like bicycles? Andy. Oh, Shame on you for trying to make Vaughn sober. She's much more fun this way. <laughs> what about unicycle bikes? Unicycles? Yeah, do they count as bikes? I don't know. Is there a such, like, how, what's the farthest? These are the questions we should Asking be asking. how big the horn was. Oh, that's what was rude. <laughs> Lauren is rubbing off on you. I know, right? As with winky face. Um, motorcycles. Okay. Ooh, I bet that's fun. <laughs> But, uh, oh. no, well, it's the horns on the headdress. I think they were roughly that sized. No, they were smaller. So I'm going to carve them down to about this big. No, I'm not. No. Yes. Again. That's like, just so you guys know, that song has been on loop inside of me for like six years <laughs> so <laughs> whose butt is numb maybe we should oh from riding the motorcycle i hope <laughs> so now i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna put it on here and i'm gonna isn't it though the wings on it. Ah. Show the hands peeps. Anyone remember fresh ditto paper? What's fresh ditto paper? Oh, ditto paper. Is that like tracing paper? Or is 
about my that uh oh gosh, what's it called? Silly pipes. Mm-hmm. Silly putty equals ditto paper, I think. Hmm. So I remember silly putty. Like, I loved silly putty eggs. I still like silly putty eggs. <laughs> Sniff a nail polish again, Vaughn? No. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was with I blocked them before you could troll them back. So nobody here is as old as myself. <laughs> Captain. Good to know. Not like that. How do I do it, Azmuth? Like this? Wouldn't it be easier to keep the knife and cut it out? Yeah, maybe. Lay it fat. Cutting. <laughs> Make it stop, right? <laughs> Sorry, I just want you guys to be as miserable as me. <laughs> right? Yes, there are hot wire knives good for foam. I've got one somewhere, like a hot wire thing that I can just push the stuff through. But the hard part's already over. I think I need to sharpen this. <laughs> Nothing much, yeah, just getting ready for another definitely delayed. I'm going to try to fix it. Should make it five symbols instead of three. Huh. Woo! I think that's what you need to do. But is it going to smell like melting foam in here? It doesn't matter what it smells like. Sharpening my blade really helps. Yes, it will smell like burning foam. Okay. Ah, and my glue is not dry yet. Okay. I have to set that aside and wait for the glue to dry. <sighs> not quite ready for crone, but if the shoe fits, right on. Do I like Taco Bell? Taco Bell's like an ex that I keep texting late at night whenever I really shouldn't. <laughs> Do you think that's a fair way of putting it? 
Mimograph is when the teacher writes something on a special card stock, then you put that on a round stock, or a round drum that has blue in it, when you turn it, and like a bingo thing. Voila, right on. Trying to get ready for this baby. I'm sad I'll miss my convention next year, but totally ready. Ah, uh, congratulations, Aya. 2 a.m. cravings equals Taco Bell. Too lazy to cook? Taco Bell. <laughs> Same. I cheated this night, right? It's like, oh, I hooked up with my ex again. Taco Bell. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, I don't know why I talk. So you want to do this thing or not? No, the, I need the glue shifted. It's not completely dry yet. I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to do the horns. I really want to root beer float with extra ice cream. Ooh, that does sound good. Mm, um, Storm wants ice cream. What about 2 a.m. cravings in the middle of nowhere? There's still a Taco Bell. <laughs> you guys don't have Taco Bell in the UK? No, they have standards. That's, that's probably yeah, Randy. Oh my god, did you hear him? He said, no, we have standards. They, they have, have standards. standards. Yeah, no, Taco Bell's basically there to make you hate yourself. It's made of sawdust. Uh, it's made of sawdust and taco seasoning. <laughs> Anyone who just pops in will be so confused. <laughs> your room looking good. Can you do mine when you finish your craft room? Maybe, Trudy. A million other tacos and places in Arizona, but no Taco Bell. It's probably, I mean, Taco Bell's really not that great, you guys. Like, it's based, it's the same, like, six ingredients mixed with Doritos. For everything on their menu. <laughs> For everything on their menu is made up of some com combination of those six ingredients and Doritos. <laughs> oh! And hatred for your lower intestines, right on. Yeah, you'll need Chipotle away. <laughs> Oh, yeah? So e oh, I was going to say, so easy, it didn't even come with an instruction. Except for, Randy? I, I can't use that right now. I have to wait for the glue to dry. I know that. Okay. Are you just setting it up to be set up? I'm going to use it. <gasps> you are? Maybe. You're going to come craft with me? No, I wouldn't say that. Hey, all my dreams, just gone, in a puff of smoke. What's Captain talking about? Cheech and Chong, right on. <laughs> oh, that's so almost clever. <laughs> Do what? Check out Smokey's thing before I hear it. <laughs> So I'm working on, not a dragon head, though I can totally see that. I'm working on some armor for Randy. Um, I've cut stuff like you have there with my electric knife. Right on. <laughs> I already blocked him as this. <laughs> so this is gonna be the breastplate on Randy, he's much broader chested than I am. Um, <laughs> what? Sorry, I just caught up with the chat. Right? I love the bloopy noises when she blocks people, right? <laughs> it makes a noise? I don't know. Very angry. The blocking wars continue. <laughs> and then the back plate. I can't plug it in on my end, so you gotta plug it in. You found an extension cord right there. What did I just say? Oh, because it'll blow your fuses? Yes. <laughs> I need to check my battery life. 65. Can you meet me halfway? No. Come on, no. I have to do work. No. What? I do work sometimes. <laughs> Cheyenne. Um, you didn't even know the dude was a troll with that one, right? Yeah, Randy legs in the background. What? What you cutting? Yes. What you cutting? We're gonna have to find a place for the scrap phone bin. Oh, yeah. Dang it. 
Do you need a cutting mat so you don't cut your desk up or you just draw in? I'm not offended by Irish jokes. I am Irish. We can take it. And if not, we'll just start fighting. <laughs> right on, Pat. <laughs> but you do live in the living room. If you live in the work room, it takes time to know you get it finished, right? Okay. But yeah, and so the back side of this is going to have, like, I made a template for it yesterday. Like last night, whenever I should have been working on custom pieces, I was like, hey, Randy, give me one of your shirts to cut up. And so I took one of his tank tops. No, you knew right from the get-go that it was going to be for cutting up. But while it was on Randy, I drew lines on it for making the armor. <laughs> so this is how it starts. Not you and you're hungry. <laughs> and so that's how it's going to kind of come across. Bye, and Randy and all of chat. Have a great night. I'm going to head out and go back to the neglected school work. Right on, Necroptics. <laughs> well, go ahead and pet her, Storm. What? It says my cat's under my bed, but I want to pet her. He got it. She got a new cat. So this is going to be the spine piece. So it's going to be some different layers. Krista says, hey, Vaughn, just wanted to message here. Didn't even know you did live streams. I'd just like to say thank you. I've just finished a costume for Halloween. And without your videos, I wouldn't have been able to. Uh, Krista, I'm really glad to have been helpful to you. And congrats on getting your Halloween costume done before Halloween. <laughs> like, that's something I have never accomplished. Back in the day, old televisions gave a fair amount of radiation. There were urban legends with silhouettes being transferred to walls. Mm. Is he gonna be a Klingon? He should be a Klingon. Brandy could be a dope Klingon. What? What? Do we have to switch it on? Or does it just heat up when you have it plugged in? How do you know if it's warm? <gasps> There's an on button? How long does it take for it to heat up? Why don't you know everything that I'm asking you? <laughs> Oh my god. So Randy just had a brain aneurysm. Hey Randy. Drink more cup. Okay. No, don't. You're more hyper. Not hyper. So is it hot? And don't touch it. You want me to touch it? Yes. Touch it with your face. Mm. Caution. Hot wire. Use whole hand. <laughs> Use whole hand? <laughs> Randy's using the hot wire and it's working. Is it like using a bandsaw? But with hot wire? hot wire? I wonder where we're supposed to get wire to replace it. Will I get electrocuted if I touch this? Can I touch it? Don't touch it. Oh. Does this answer your question? Oh, it gave us extra wires. Okay. Thank you. How does it make it hot? Is it electricity? Yes. Will you get burnt or will you get electrocuted if you touch yes. it? Yes. Both? Yes. Oh. Maybe How hot does it get? Yes. Bones pulling apart Simpson. <laughs> Randy will not take over your change, Bon. <laughs> I notice you're sitting on a hard bench. Do you have any pointers on the proper chairs, dues, and your back hurt from sitting too long? I actually prefer this, it's a piano bench, so it has a little bit of padding, but I prefer this to my pink chair that's like supposed to be ergonomic and all kinds of stuff. Bananas are naturally radioactive, random fact. Ah. Is that gray leather or foam for the armor? If it's foam, are you going to plasti dip it? Alexis, this is, it's foam EVA floor mats. Um, Bernie, I do. I'm like, mine mark. <laughs> and like no most of the time if it's a wet paint sign if it's somebody else's wet paint sign I won't touch it but if it's my wet paint sign I'm like is this the wet yes um <laughs> I destroy the world like boom, 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 like press that red button <laughs> what's up That's most interesting. what's going on Where it pushes it? Yeah. Is 
there a way to adjust for the tension? Yep. I'm just very excited. I know you are. Okay. Careful, it's probably still hot. You reckon? Maybe. That'd probably be super good. Poke it with a stick. Ooh, <laughs> Bond twenty seven. Yeah, that'll be like my quote. <laughs> Ray, I don't know what Randy's doing, but I'm very enticed. Like he's cutting foam with a hot thing. But no, um, I'm just templating this out, um, and then I'm gonna make it out of leather. Hey, artifacts! Long time no see. You smell like burning stuff. I wonder what else it could cut. <laughs> Quick grab everything. It's like that episode of Spongebob where there are barbarians and they discover fire and then they put a bunch of stuff on sticks and coke it in the fire and then eat it. And so they eat like coral and rocks and like, but everything looks delicious in that episode. How's it going? No, that episode makes me hungry every time I see it. Because they're just going, nom, 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 like, the whole time. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I remember. I remember. And coke it. <laughs> that is legitimately something I would do. Foam cutter, those are cool tools to play with. Right on. <laughs> do you ever, do you even read chat? I do, yeah. Bread. Do you even read, do you even read bro? <laughs> it's like, I try to. I mean, I'm an American, so I'm pretty illiterate. <laughs> I was going to say illegitimate, and I was like, nope, that's the wrong word. <laughs> right? Yeah, except for that one. As with, I love you so I'm much. I love it when you troll people. Like, keep doing that. Hmm. What'd you learn? I learned those wires hot. Oh, how hot? <laughs> oh, pretty did, dirty. Did it burn you or did it burn and electrocute you? This is science, Randy. I need you to take better notes. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Where did, where'd you get the blue? Do you need mommy kisses? How many mommy kisses? How many mommy kisses hot is it? Roughly a thousand. It's a thousand mommy kisses hot, you guys. Bon, what did I miss? What did you say that upset California? Some uh, the att attracting Irish slugs joke was racist, I guess. I I don't know. That's racist. I'm horribly racist, obviously. Um, <laughs> of his what's his FFS face? I don't know. It burns, but it can cut right through you. Really? The hot wires can cut through you? Yeah, it's like a lightsaber. Really? I don't think that's like a lightsaber. Well, it's because all the lights are on. I think you're making things up. Is it really going to glow red, though? Uh, I don't know. I think a lightsaber, that's not a lightsaber. It's, it's because it's wire. not making noise. Are you okay? I want to see your boo boo. I don't have no boo boo. <sighs> Just show me. <laughs> He's not letting me play in the foam. Oh, the for fuck's sake face. <laughs> That's an FFS thing. I thought it was a new Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Just tell everyone you're not racist. You hate everyone equally, which is pretty accurate. <sighs> no Ablo El Russiano Makasin. It looks like you guys have so much more room now. We do. It's it's so big and wide in here. I can a carrot. That is a carrot. It's a brown carrot. Nah. Gosh, I'm such a critic. Cause I'm like, you should probably round off the top a little bit more and then make it thicker so we can put in the green part. Well, you could do. Finish it. your carrot. It's done. It's a unicorn one. It's done. Congrats. Thanks, artifacts. Are you talking to me? <laughs> what? Do you like that? Maybe, I don't know. Do you wanna test it on this phone? You probably wanna put it level on the table so you don't die. Just saying. Why do you make that face? Tension the wire. <laughs> <laughs> a boy with a new toy, right? Fart noises come from... What? 
Hey Randy, have you checked on the hot cutter on eBay? They're one of the best. Have not, no. We haven't. This, we got this one at Hobby this, Lobby. Are the other horns? No, both of the horns are right here. That was just left over. Do you want me to draw a horn on it? Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Like, I don't know, yeah, like metal? How are you guys finding the balance between privacy and streaming? <laughs> um, we don't. We don't. Holy smokes. What? Is it good? Is everything okay? It's okay. Okay, it's good. Sorry, he startled me. Um... I don't, I'm not a very private person. Like, I don't have blinds on my windows. If the neighbors want to watch me dig in my belly button, then that's going to happen. Yeah, um, you say that, and then we caught the neighbor's boy watching you dig Yeah, your belly he was totally staring at me through the window, so I just stared at him back. <laughs> Ninja, please. That is so nice. This is game changing. They'll never see me even when I live there, right? Well, Randy actually made me get some shears for the front window because he's like, I'm tired of everybody seeing me naked when I walk back from the shower. <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, can, you, can you do it on an angle for beveling? Oh. I don't know what you mean uh, Okay, see how it's all square? Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch your fingers. Well, hey, it's like it's hot or something. Now, I do have some steel wool for cleaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But be very careful. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it helps if you have a steady hand. Can I compare it to my... Sure. Have, what? That what? have hair in no, it? No, 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 not on mine! That's, give it here! Ugh. Sorry, boss. Um, on your own side. I like your farmer tan, by the way, Randy. That's the purpose oh. of comparing. <laughs> Sorry. Why I'm not a scientist. Beer and knives don't mix well. <laughs> Says you. But it will kind of make your skin. <gasps> Randy, so, are you okay? I'm fine. Here you are. Maybe. Bullets and pages. Like, I'm confused. Okay, so when the box knife is sharp, I think I prefer it for sculpting because it's going to give me a lot more control sure. about well, when I, I can. I mean, you haven't even tried this. I've got a very interesting hand. Don't you want me to try it? If you want. <gasps> yes. Time. Okay. Don't touch the wire. Probably <clears throat> Sam. So 
well. Like, I don't know. I'm still pretty wobbly. <laughs> like, that's horrible. <laughs> it looks so well. Look at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think for rough, rough shaping, that's totally doable. But my first one was much better. There are tons of videos on how to use a hot knife for building props. Right on. And around the head horn was just in a couple of fights. No biggie. Have you ever held a guinea pig, Vaughn? I actually haven't. Try to find the ones I saw a while back when I got a hot knife. Right on. Maybe without the beer first next time on. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but it gives me a good, nice baseline starting point. Um, oh, that is rough, though. What do you mean? Like my one that was super wobbly. Well, because it was the difference too between me pushing it through and this side that was wobbly was me pulling it through, right? Yeah. You're missing the bears. Oh, really? I always thought it'd be like a river otter or something, I don't know, cute, Ooh, not a, a small livestock animal. <laughs> I don't know. No, majestic is not something that I think anyone would ever use to uh, describe me. So maybe the majestic space duck. <laughs> Isn't that a chugging contest? No. Who can drink the most insulation foam? I would say you're cute, fun, and bubbly. Right on, majestic sea otter. <laughs> I don't agree. I own guinea pigs, and they are nothing but trouble. <laughs> what? Well, that that just, just strengthens the case. You can go back with sandpaper to smooth that up. Just wear a mask. For sure. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm getting um, the, uh, the rough shaping down first. I think of a chipmunk. <laughs> we need to have another grape eating contest. Did they exceed their age of breeding as myth? Like, like they were breed enough. Okay. I remember watching Howard the Duck and Bahrain in a movie house. Right on. I also recently lost my main male. Her main squeeze. Mm -hmm. Okay, Azmuth, are these anatomically correct? Oh, the glue's still wet. Do I have glue in my hair? <laughs> Don't laugh at me, honey. I was just finishing up the foam for the first suit. Feet paws and my scissors are infested with cushion foam. <laughs> right on. Brent, where do you guys get that foam? This is pink insulation foam from Lowe's. Or if our friend George is watching, Home Depot. <laughs> I can't tell because I have to watch your live streams on potato mode. Right? Think pink. You go, Vaughn. <laughs> Thanks, Ellie. Your vote of confidence gives me courage <laughs> to just keep gluing stuff to my head. <laughs> Yeah, Randy, that's a really good cup of coffee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Crap, now I have to make another one, and I don't remember what the template was because I freehanded it. Unicorn horn? Rhino horn. Oh. Rhino horn. Is that a Pokemon? Rhino horn? Yeah. I'm learning. That is just the slogan for pink insulation. Right on. Can we have a chugging contest? No, Cheyenne, I don't think we're going to have a chugging contest. Maybe water. I don't want to throw up on camera. I'm not good at chugging. Like, it's a mess. And I don't feel like bathing yet. <laughs> Do you want any? I don't want to throw up on camera. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Do it. <laughs> My teacher drew the anarchy symbol on the board today in class. Right on. Was it for education purposes? Or are they, like, genuinely an anarchist? Down with the system, bro. Down with the system. Well, I don't know if actually part of the body. 
What's hard on the body? What? Oh, yeah. I don't really... It, well, I have really sensitive teeth and really strong stomach acid. So, like, nerd glasses. Oh, azimuth. Rhyhorn oh, is yes. number 111. <laughs> Night, Kaz. What's chugging? I'm guessing it's something to do with drinking. It's where you, like, just drink your drink super fast. It's where you open your throat and just pour the liquid down. Yep. It's where you literally dump beer into your body. <laughs> Drinking your drink through a draw, a straw, right? We call it sculling. Okay. Hi, Ooh, I like that. Curving it down just a little bit more instead of leaving the squared edge. Where's the white What? Are you a Viking? Are you a Viking? I do really enjoy sculpting stuff. Like, oh, like, do you see my goose? So like, what? What's happening? Is there somebody? No, it's just the neighbors. Oh, that's the neighbors. Oh, touching me out. I thought people were here. Um, Vaughn, how many pets have you ever had at once? Um, yeah, we had three dogs, two cats, nineteen rabbits, and five chickens. No, it's 29. We had 29 pets at one point. And then you had the goldfish. It was a beta fish. Whatever. Hubert Fishworth. He was so beta. <laughs> he was so beta. Boy, there's a coin. Thank you, doggy. Hey, Oh, Sam. 29 birds. Wow, you win. <laughs> you ever put a bendy straw in the bottle, bent the straw over the rim of the bottle, and then drank the contents out of the bottle? The straw provides a vent for the air. Oh, um, that's really interesting. No, I haven't, but that's a good idea, though. Hi, from Kangaroo Land. Hey, Aussie. I'm sculpting a horn for a right horn? Number 111 on the Pokemon. Is that, that's still original. Uh, the, 11, yeah. Because yeah. there was like 150, right? Yep. I'm getting learnt today. Hey, it's okay. I don't know if that was a motorcycle or if one of the dogs growled. Hey, it's okay, I'm armed. But it sounds like an adding unnecessary steps to drinking, right? I have no idea what time it is here. Oh, the sun's setting and I didn't shoot any videos today. Okay, guys. I've got to go because this was only supposed to be an hour long stream. I don't have any jokes. Me. I am a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Brooke, but it's if we're gonna have any content for tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go and shoot a video real quick. So, <laughs> bye, Cheyenne. Bye, everybody. Bye, Brissy. Bye, Fiend. Bye, Dorothy. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with us. I've had a really good time. <laughs> Tell us the goose joke. Maybe next time, Asmith. I want to build suspense. So, bye. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>